Good morning, Couch Potatoes. We are live reporting on this swell event on our news channel with none other than the president of the Seal Beach Board Riders, Chad Wellsy Wells. You. He's Good also morning. former pro surfer, Quicksilver team manager, marketing guru, and Fuax. Been with Fuax for 12 years. Yeah, man. I just learned that. I'm learning. St- I'm learning stuff already. Yeah, if you've ever picked up a bar of food at anywhere in the U.S., it uh, came from me. All right, see? From Anyone who's used that food, it came through Wellsy. From the quiet little shores of uh, Seal Beach, which is yeah. where we're at today. We're, we're here, okay. We're right. in the Shires. We, we are not it. at an undisclosed location. No secrets yeah. here. Yeah, we're in the Shires, as the, the boys call it, because it's... It's a mile long, jetty to jetty. It's a mile. Yeah, it's a short little stretch here. Thank, thank yeah. you for having us. Appreciate it. And yeah, we got some little waves today, so we're stoked to record some action. Talk about Seal Beach, the history here, all the radical surfers that have come out of here, and look at these waves. These are not Holy for shit. beginners. Yeah. So if you're a beginner, don't come out here. Yeah, it's uh, with the tide still on the way up. It's critical. It's critical. You'll get compressed out here. Yeah, dude, I almost broke my neck out here one day, so I have much respect for this wave. Yeah, I mean, the beauty is, like, because it's gained so much more popularity over the course of however many years with all these YouTube guys and... <laughs> Couch shows. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, we're not. you're not doing anything different than... Let the carnage begin. Yeah, say people that <laughs> post full sessions or whatever. So, I mean, at the end of the day, for... For me, there's my daughter and my son right there. Yep. But, well, um, these groms are trunking it in the in the river here. It's more about trying to potato emojis come at the city in a more um, quantifiable approach because the sand is such a major issue here. Like we yeah. lost, we lost, kind of lost the north side of the pier, and then they worked with us and they graded the north side, but it's it's rapid so to speak it's rapid decline because there wasn't any swell right after they graded it started steeping out like the beach gets real steep real fast so imagine it's kind of like balboa pier here yeah so it gets steep fast but that other side back in the day would be like almost a daily kind of rippable wave yeah it'd be like i mean what blackies is to newport kind of thin-lipped and just really good shape wedges and a little more friendly you know that that was the friendly side this is the gladiator side (laughs) good place to like learn the basics and learn how to surf you can't really learn how to surf out here yeah, and I mean, <laughs> well, and the and my groms are going through it now. It's like the the graduation of seal is you start at the river and crabs, and then you work your way to north side, which north side's. Oh, here we cool. go! Action! Ooh. Guy packs it running. Is he going to come out? Oh no! And then you make your way to south side eventually. So that's kind of like the evolution of someone that grows up in town. But the problem is this generation of like maybe guys after say like Chris Waring, he was the last pro surfer to come out of seal in the two thousands. Um, they've all got to get in the car to go surf somewhere. Got to go to like Huntington or something, Yeah, and that's kind of the, you've got to nurture the shoreline. You've got to grade it. You've got to keep it from going super steep to keep waves breaking. And, I mean, we we got UCI involved, the Coastal Commission, Surf Rider, and they did data, and they're like, your beach has been growing two meters a year since, like, the 30s. So it's like a kitty litter box surrounded by jetties that just keeps accumulating sand. And then with three years of La Nina without this to be able to come up and kind of breach that slope and yank sand out, it's just gotten real funky. Well, so, what's the solution to get rid of some of the sand? Um, I mean, I don't think you say get rid of sand to anybody or in this m- town. move sand. Yeah, they're going to have a freak out. But it's more about nurturing the, the shoreline itself. Simple beach grading is the fix. So, I mean, it's deeper politics here involved. Of course. I mean, it must be. But it sounds like you guys did your research. You got UCI involved. Mm. This isn't just some, like, it was better back in the day, like, do something. Well, exactly. And, I mean, I I know Ryan Simmons will probably come join us when he's done doing some coaching. And, uh, I mean, he was the golden child for us here in the, the, you know, late 80s, 90s. And, um. I never thought that, like, my group of guys would be the guys fighting for this place. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's so weird that the degradation of just the shoreline has had such an effect. Oh. But here we Ooh. are today, and swell episodes, it still does it. Yeah. So that's what we're seeing today, what we saw yesterday. 
and um, yesterday it kind of went yesterday nu- nuclear. Yesterday was huge. Or, I mean, I don't think anyone thought it was going to be that much swell. Yeah, guys are surfing the oil island out there. I mean, they that's were? Like, oh, my God. I think that's like 0.26 miles out there. And they paddle you know, out on big boards. Yeah, Sammy. Would Sammy Wick go out there? Sam went out there. Sam Wick hey, wired. Before we get too Ryan deep, guys, um, we got to do a little sponsor plug. Oh, yes, our sponsors, here. of course. We got tons of sponsors. It's us. Today. Oh, it's us. <laughs> yes. We have merch. Check, hit that link right there. We finally got some merch. If you guys want to support the Did show. Did we bring any? Or no, we of course. We, Dude, forgot we forgot that. We forgot today. 20 things. We, we got t shirts for you. We'll, we'll send Wellesy um, some T-shirts. Oh, sick. My but, grom, yeah. My grom's a froth. Yeah, see, we need Oh, we do. Okay, here, so, yeah, hit that link. Here they are. Dude, by the way, there's a bomb coming right now, so I don't know if we want to want to switch for a second. Can we? Oh, here we go. Wait, let's go live action. Forget our merch. This is what we're here for. This guy's going left straight into the beach. Oh, oh pig dog. Oh, he's going to come out. So yes. Sick. Okay, pan straight back out. I'm always like trying to like boss and know around because I'm freaking out to get the clip. Wellesy must have got some barrels out here in his day. Oh, we, yeah. I think we got some clips of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got so many aftermarket parts in my body these days. I got to really pick and choose um, when I paddle out because I got a fake hip in my <laughs> <laughs> I got a new fake hip. I got a fake disc in my back. I'm like, if I get compressed, it could be. Uh, it could be over. It could be over. So I got to pick and choose my days. I like them a little more out the back with like a, <laughs> a dad friendly roll in. A little you know? roll in. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Okay. We had to get. Oh, oh my God, look at this guy. Backside, just. Oh, the carnage. Yeah. Straight I mean, it's. On. This is probably. And I mean, there's a few waves in this area that it's one of the most exciting three seconds of your life. <laughs> yeah. It's the takeoff to making the drop to just getting set up in the pit and hopefully not getting backwashed out of it. It's uh, critical, <clears throat> but exciting. Yeah. Super, super critical. Pound for pound. I mean, Seal's, Seal's got some thump. For sure. Okay, so best way to support the show. Check out our merch. We're going to get Wellesy and his Groms, some stuff. And if you guys want to support the show, that's a good way to do it. There's Wellesy's Grom right there. He watched 100 Blair Conklin movies last night. Yesterday, he said hi to Blair. Blair called him a boss, and he was, like, over the moon. No way. Oh. Yeah. And our other sponsor, Kook of the Day. We're all kooks in our own way. Check, go to Kook of the Day on Instagram. They got their Instagram back. They got they got clipped for a while, but now they got it back. Yeah. So we Love Kook of the Day. They're, they're our number one sponsor. This guy's got some sponsors, apparently, a lot of them. <laughs> Okay, we plug the sponsors. Check the merch. <laughs> a real enthusiastic uh, shirt plug there, <laughs> uh, On our shirts, dude. I'm just excited about the waves this time. I can't really think about. But yeah, right. what, okay. What about the, the? You want to plug the merch more? No, no, no. We plug it. We'll plug it again later. Let's just. I gotta get calmed down. This is froth. This is, full I froth fest. The full froth. I, I'm just like, it, it is the best way to support the show. Like yeah. that. That goes directly. We we take all the money from that and we go right back into the show. And uh, I don't know. You well, yeah. I mean, you guys don't stuff. run. You don't. At run least you on, get something too. You don't run on thank yous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> kind of right now moment. we are. <laughs> yeah, you don't run on thank yous. I mean, I yeah. get it. You got to keep the doors. We got to keep. We got to. Yeah, keep, Shaddy. We got to at least try to break even. Shaddy's here. Yeah. Good morning, man. Chabble. It's actually mostly thank yous. Yeah, <laughs> mostly thank yous. But, yeah, it is a good way to support the show if you want to keep this thing going before we burn out because we've got no more money. But yeah, all the links are in the bio. We'll keep it stuff. going. Thanks, guys. We had a lot of people bought them last time, too, which was really cool. Like, yeah. yeah we, we sold a That's, bunch. I want to say episode. thank you to those people yeah. that bought those. And we, we, we put, put those orders out quickly. ASAP. I, I, like, I like it. Cuckoo. I like it. That's like me no with the waiting. Food, bro. Yeah. I'm a well-greased machine. You do? You got it all set up. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, uh, here we go. Late drop. Honestly, what you guys Gets do burned. is super fun. You Thank know what you. I mean? It's killer. Guys are getting clips, and you're watching a session go down live. I mean, it's it's pretty awesome, actually. Thank you. But, Appreciate you yeah, coming on here. Let's get Chaz. Yeah, in what? Chaz. We need some looks. Yeah, Chaz old school look. He's like... Chaz a, Wickwire. He's the super duper grand poobah. Wickwire is a huge name in Seal Beach. Yeah. It's the infamous. It's the infamous. 
Okay, we got Lokes showing up. Without the Lokes, there's no show here, that's for sure. Good morning. We got Chaz Wickwire, Ripper. What do you do? You glass boards? What's what's Chaz Wickwire up to? Uh, I do everything. I build surfboards. Uh, I have a new surf forecast venture, the Chaz Cast. The Chaz Cast, okay. Um, it's pretty accurate. It's, I'd like to think it's really accurate. Spot Check on. Check that out. Okay, the Chaz pa- Cast. Chaz Cast. Where do you find that? Uh, on the website? Chaz Surf forward slash Chaz Cast. Or you can hit me up on my Instagram, the Chazcast, and you can find a link there as well. Nice. Thank you for the plug. Of course. Thanks for coming on. So, what, your your son was out there at the bombing last night? Yeah, he, he went out to Esther, which is kind of like the, I don't know, the, what would you say, laddie, like the unicorn of Seal Beach surfing? Yeah. If you get a wave out there, I mean, have have one of the cameras. That's a pan that's a huge one it. to check off the list, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's right out there. Yeah, that's Keep. not the bomby. That's the one out at the oil it's, rig. It's right? right there. It's the gorilla in the mist. It's the out way. at that oil rig. It, it was breaking yesterday. Right under that oil platform. Yeah, dude, look at people were surfing that far out yesterday. It's yeah, it's crazy. like a, a once every few year phenomena. It's just a big burger, but everyone thinks that it's. Kind of fun, I guess, yeah. to get out there. It's a novelty. Check that one off the list. Yeah. Right. I'm here and still watching your show to hear Chad drop knowledge. <laughs> Brent Weldon. Uh, yeah, Brent. Brent. Brent's shooting on the beach somewhere. Chaz, a.k.a. Charles in Charge. Yes. Look at the fans are going nuts already for you guys. <laughs> Got my kook meter t-shirt. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. I bought a t-shirt for my birthday. Thank you. The chicks are digging the shirt. Yes, of course. They're they're highly designed. Got my shirt super quick. Thanks, boys. Demos. Hey, Morning. Yeah, D. Okay. How's Lenny? Just shirt is mad comfy too. Thank you. Oh, my kids are gnarly. Front. They're they're so sh- just Couch. frothed. Dang. And she doesn't know her own strength. She's like, Dad, can I go swim? I'm like, If you go swim, you're probably gonna drown. <laughs> yeah. She just looks at me like she's ready though. You're huh? Crazy. Like, I think it's no. a little sketchy just having a surge grabber right now. Yeah, are we? Are we? Nah, it'll be a good worried. lesson learner. My kids are pretty. <laughs> they're solid in the water. So, so my my son's dog yesterday. They were hanging on the beach here, and my son's dog, a Labrador Retriever, a little chocolate lab. He got drugged by a rip out into the impact zone. Took an eight oh. footer, went over the oh. falls on an eight footer, and came out with his tail yeah, wagging. Line drive. Oh, here the we go. The dog did. That's a Sargi sent me an Esther shot. This is like. Brett Schwartz or Taylor Evans on on a bomb from from yesterday? Yeah, no, no, from oh, like, from back in the from, day, from one of the biggest days out there, I think. That's Holy a crap. Hugo one. Dude, Dude, that's that's airdrop, it, airdrop it to me. Okay, airdrop it. It's a MacBook Pro. I should show it. Here we go. Let's look at. We're gonna do it. Show it instantly. Taylor Evans, that was my peer group. I used to take the bus down here and hang out with Ben Knight and Taylor Evans. And uh, is it your cousin Adam? Who's your? No, no, he's. Like distant cousin, mm. like we don't he even was, know each other. But we don't know from each back other. East. Yeah. Oh no. Who was um? John Wickwire, maybe. John Wickwire. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he run with with Taylor and, yeah. and Ben and, and Travis then? Potter? Yeah. All those guys. We were all little NSA groms. I'd I'd take the bus up here sometimes, because because you could surf the left over there. Yeah. All those guys, little chargers. Yeah. Was uh Maddie Cameron in that group too, Chad? Is he the same age for group? Uh, hmm. I, I think, if not, right around there. Yeah, he's like another Southside guru, apparently, from uh, uh, from that generation. Yeah, just the the Phantom. He'd come out here and just get inc- take off incredibly late, get super super pitted, and uh, did it with a lot of style. Still surfing. So I never knew Marty Thomas was from Seal Beach. Yeah. Yep. I, I learned that in the little doc clip you sent. Arguably, I mean, probably not even arguably, the most decorated. Oh, Blair Conklin. <laughs> Is that him? Probably. My kid should be running Dude, for an autograph. kid should right be now. over there. He doesn't, <laughs> he, he doesn't even know. <laughs> he doesn't know yet. <laughs> well, people are hooting and screaming. What do we got? Backside pig dog lip to the head. So the tide's coming up for like another hour maybe yeah it might but cook it it might it might slow down for a sec could turn in just to the boogie the boogie zone it's but like 
but then I think it's uh nine forty five it's like a five nine or something, but then maybe when the tide swings down we'll we'll get some more action, yeah, no, right when it turns in that next hour, it'll go bonkers, and then in the next here's the oh, forty kay. minutes, so that's Esther that's Esther, look at that's all the way at that oil rig we were just pointing out, pointing out like a mile out there. Two thousand five. Dude, that's huge. That, that doesn't one. look mushy to me. Yeah. It doesn't Chris, look that mushy. Chris Sardellis took this picture. Oh, th Chris Sardellis was right here, right? Sarge, yeah. two thousand five on that one. Mm. Oops, I don't know how that got there. Oh. Sorry, we don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that was an old segment. That's an old segment. We don't do that one anymore. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> no, every, uh, not everything works perfectly on this show. Look at your ground just flexing on guys already. Oh, they just are just absorbing. Oh They're my God! Look at this a frame. Who's going to go? This guy's behind the peak. Late drop. Guy drops straight in on him. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's weird. It almost looks kind of fat. Like some waves go oh. like this thing. And then there's other like peaks that like that other sick. one that just look kind of fat. It kind of does look easier than I thought it was going to be this morning. Oh, look at this thing sucking out. Maybe go. not that one, though. No. Once it gets like too big, it starts capping, right? And like washes through. Yeah, that's like it, or if the tide gets too low, and it, once it starts foaming out the back, it's kind of done. Do you have that shot of Griff, Andy? Is that in your arsenal? <laughs> uh, I do. You guys, that, oh, that thing looks like backdoor. This is like, um, I'm going to say <laughs> as big as Southside can handle. Yeah, it's, maybe uh, without it, like, oh my God, look at this set yeah, coming. It's like as, as big as it'll go without oh, it. Oh, the coming. Groms are getting washed out. No, but look at, no, no. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Action. Oh, carnage. Guy goes down. That was maybe the biggest shorey wave ever photographed, would you say, Laddie? Yeah, I don't know. It was nuts. It's pretty crazy. It's a wide one. Right here, it's slabbing, like, straight in front. Oh, my God, this guy's going to. Bye-bye. Yeah, Dude. and I mean, that's the thing. Like, south side kind of takes care of itself. doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. You know, some guys excel out here. Chris Ward's one of them. Timmy Ray is also super, super gnarly. But um, oh. the wave takes care of itself, and, like, the local guys will always get their waves. Davin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Davin Howard right there, right? I mean, Davin, you, the Davinator. You kind of want got to be a certain surfer to want to, like, take off on these kind of waves right on the beach. Slater was out here last year, huh? Yeah. What yeah, other yeah, yeah. wave does Seal compare to around the world? Hossegar, Pipe, Super Tubas? What do you guys think? wellsy has um, been around the world, so you've seen every wave there is. My buddy tried to say it was like a little mini gravier and he was like i'd say pound for pound it, it packs just as much punch and i'm like mm. i mean i've surfed gravier but not quite like when it drains this is the year that i surfed it that was kind of mushy like the bank wasn't good mm -hmm. but um it's kind of the same way i mean it's like a it's like the wedge it's just kind of yeah more cylinders -y kind of that's what i'd yeah, compare like, it, to like it, cylinders it, it just wedges and compresses and goes bottomless. And Almost more makeable, though. Such an A-frame. Yeah. And that's... Yes? Me and Vaughn are going to um, go home. You're going to go home? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Do you know Blair Conklin's down the beach? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at she's just A-framing. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't worry. They'll be paddling around you oh. in 10 years. <laughs> oh, backside pig dog. Oh, yeah. Comes out. That was nice. All right. There it is. Get ready for another airdrop. We're airdropping. Dude, it's almost that big today, maybe. Not really. No. <laughs> so who do you board builds or build boards for, Chaz? What's I do my own label, Chaz uh -huh. Surfboards, and then the lion's share of my work is for Biolis. I know that shout, guy. Shout out to Matt Biolis. Shout out Biolis. He's the best. He's keeps 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 my family alive. Appreciate it. Yeah. I did a ten year bid for him. So the most I know him well. The absolute <laughs> most core company in surf, maybe in the history of surf. It's yes. It's a rad deal. There you go. They're still in that alley, still in the surf ghetto, making yeah. surfboards. Well, you know what I love about Matt? I don't see him all the time, but when I do see him, usually it's somewhere in the water. Or at an event or whatever. And uh, he is just a hardcore surf turkey, which is the best part. Look at There goes Blair. Oh. Blair Conklin backside. Can he come out? No, nah. he gets clipped. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a core. They build surfboards. They're privately owned. Still the same guys doing it. Now my Groms are going the 12th Street route. They've got a few blocks to Dude, conquer. I can't believe they just missed the Blair Conklin phenomenon. <laughs> I can't believe Vaughn is running around with no shirt on. Oh, he's That's out here what all I day said. In 40s yesterday. <laughs> he's I was nuts. like, no wetsuit, nothing. Did you go to the Christmas party? The lost Christmas party? I missed the with Christmas party. The, the one of the Santa, San, oh, no, Santa I, Archibald? I got the pool party. The pool party was. Oh, yeah. How was, was that? It was epic. It was so epic. How many waves did you get? I rode five waves. Sick. That's but a it good was pretty amount. crazy because Riola, Riola sent me an invite, sort of said verbally that you're invited. And then he said, but I want Matt to tell you. And Matt never told me. <laughs> <laughs> so he sent out, a, I said, hey, I reached out to Matt and I, I got crickets. What's the deal? And he goes, oh, we haven't announced it yet. And then he sent another text that I didn't get, but you're in. Save, save the date. So I woke up the morning of the, the pool party and... Uh, like it was just, I just had the worst surf ever in front of my house. And I get out at about nine and my phone's blown up from all the last guys. Where are you? Where are you? You're supposed to be here. So I jumped in the car like that day, four hour plow, got there at about two o'clock and they set me up with a few waves. Which that was, was well worth it. I'm but sure. everyone talks about like how, how nervous you are before like your wave. And oh, look at this guy, goofy footer, packs it. Davin again. Davin's out of Loke. Yeah. Local kid? Yeah, in-flight surf shop kid. Oh, in-flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, no, now he parks planes out in Long Beach. Parks them? Yeah, he's uh, the guy in the little trolley that backs oh, him up. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, parks him. That's nice. And he parks it out here. Kate yeah, he just too. parked yeah, it yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, he's one of our SEAL board riders crew. I text the whole crew and said, hey, come down. Like, this is your spot. Today's yeah. your day. Let's Regulate. do this. Chaz, are your boards sold, sold at Harbor? That's pretty funny. I uh, know. No. no. <laughs> I shaved for them for quite a while, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Shout out to Robert Housen. Look at this. Blair Conklin backdooring oh. the peak. Arm stall stands straight up. Is he going to punt one? Oh, front oh. flip. That's going viral. That thing's going viral. <laughs> that was insane. It's already out there. You get a replay on that? Or? Yeah. Let's watch this set and then get a replay. We got replay on this. There he is. That's the world champ bodyboarder. Oh, look at that oh. right. The guy just went straight into the beach. Oh, my God. It's A-framing. Those ones, say that's like almost too big right there. Yeah, nah, it's just a weird. It's oh, just look fat. at this thing. That's sick. Oh, he like oh, he wow. looked like he had it. And then a Warble got him. There's Blair. Seal legends, Teddy Navarro. Yeah, Teddy. Yeah, Teddy's Shreddy. Shreddy's gnarly out Dude, here, Dude, he's too. got a couple sick ones Don't out kid. here. Don't kid. Teddy's... Okay, more bombs. Yeah, we can't we'll go to, to replay second. yet. Teddy's probably got his own almanac from Sardellis from, uh, from some, the of waves his, out here. some of the early and mid-O's of just death slash. Oh, look at this guy behind the peak. Pulls in. Thing just ate him alive. Pretty steezy for a second there, though. Yeah. He's standing straight up. More action. Look at this guy digging hard. He's going left. Yeah. You guys are pumped. When I heard that you guys were coming down and I saw the tide and everything, I thought, oh, you guys are just going to be, like, sitting around. Filling a lot of, <laughs> I was a lot of space worried. with banter. I, I was worried about that, too. I was like, this place is so fickle and hard to get. I, but you guys blessed us with the luck. Oh, look at this guy. Pump, pump, pack it. Yeah, we were going to go live at 10, but we are like, oh, we better get out. I know. We were like, well, let's just wait. But then we saw, Jesus, it's breaking. Just, let's just go. Roll it. Yeah, thanks. Thank you guys so much for having us. Thanks Chaz having is me. a ledge. Chaz, how do you think Cole will do on tour? I know you're a huge part of his success in the early years. Cole Hauschman? Yeah, I was, I was his first coach and, and built his boards early on. No way. I did um, not know that. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a freaking beast. He's going to. He's going to be like the, what do you think the best analogy is? Like Kong with good technique or something? <laughs> Without the <laughs> crazy arms. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm a giant fan. Uh, I think he's probably going to have the most success out of the, that pack. I agree. Because he's, 
Because how big his turns are. <laughs> and how big he is. Confidence-wise, he's unflappable. He's super gnarly. And then there's no mincing turns. It's just major maneuvers pretty much from start to finish. And, and that, that's what you need. Right? And no one has his power game. No one's yeah. probably ever had his power game. It's, it's, it's nuts. His dad was a D1 athlete, and he got some really incredible genes. Yeah. But, I, yeah, I, I think he's going to win Sunset. Well, I was going to say that. A couple clips first. of Sunset of him backside was just, like, huge turns. Where can I pick up a Chaz board? Hit Chaz. me up. Chaz, Chaz Surfboard's Instagram. Link in bio. Hit me up. Yeah, I'll um I'll put a link in the description of the YouTube too. So you can there we go. We're selling bit. boards on the show. Hopefully, love it. Forecast to the neighbor crew. I know. I didn't know about. I yeah, Joshy. You. I didn't know about the forecast. <laughs> thing yeah, we're we're a, we're a month in. It's uh, it's been pretty rad. And wake up in the middle of the night checking buoys and resources. Yeah, I got and a, I got a replay. Are you ready? Okay, replay. Okay, Blair Kong, you get out. Take it away. I mean, they, these are the ones you want, like the side, the west kink into the bowl, you know? I mean, the problem was he just couldn't slow down enough. He was going so fast on that thing. But those are the dreamy ones. Then I like the west, out. the west line with, the, with the, the, the kink at the end that you get blown out of. He just chipped in perfectly, too. Maybe, like. maybe 15 less liters, and he could have maybe stalled a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, but the stumpy little boards are great out Sorry, Chaz, what was your Instagram again? Yeah, let's hype this up. Uh, the Chaz Cast and Chaz Surfboards. The Chaz Cast. So at, you're looking at all the models? and. Yeah, I've been doing it forever for friends. And then uh, I got invited to a pretty remote spot with a, a buddy. And um, I just became consumed with trying to get those conditions again at that spot. So I, I just that's all I did for about 18 months is learn the charts and... I got a pretty good feel for what they tell me, so I'm sharing it with the public now. That's mm. epic. So you, squ people are yelling for this guy to go. Davinator. Uh, well, Chaz, I mean, he's he's our event forecaster for the Seal Beach Surf Comp. Okay. So he calls the swell for us because we have to give the lifeguards like seventy-two hours, which is a tough one. Joe Zaccaro. But uh, how do you say his last name? I think it's Zaccaro. Zaccaro. It's one super of our SEAL board riders' groms. Hurley Youth Grom, super good kid, ripper. What do we got? Ooh, oh, watching. my God, slab. Come out. Oh. oh. Ate him alive, but I think he got the photo. <laughs> I've seen the photographer in the barrel there. Yeah, you want to ride boards you don't like out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't seen, like, five broken boards already. Or have a lot of them that you do like. <laughs> yeah. You go through them. <laughs> right. Um, tell us about the Seal Beach Board Riders. So you're the president? Um, yeah, I mean, crazy fact that uh, it's now seven years in. And Already? Seal, Holy crap. So way back when, Huntington was four different factions that, that Wheat, Moreno, and, um, and Ziggy had come up with. So they'd divided Huntington into four pieces of like Maghurst, Southside, north side like the bolsa cliffs crew and then in that time suddenly all the seal guys were getting all these recruiting calls like hey you guys want to be part of our club and we were like i'm like riley did these guys call you like surfer north side he's like yeah he's like but he's like why don't we just start our own club so we came back to those guys and said hey like we start our own club you know we're seal like yeah. we've got enough people barely yeah. So, um, <laughs> we got our own town. So that, then we had a meeting and like, that was when I was at Quickie and, and Mikey was at Quickie and we got Quickie to kind of do the insurance and kind of semi fund it. And then 2016 in October, Golden West Street was the first ever board riders event. But in the interim of us delivering our club, those guys looked at our club and went, oh yeah, are you allowed to cuss on this show? Sure. They're like, get fucked. And <laughs> four clubs merged into one club. And we were like, whoa, hang on a second. We yeah, knew we had sports. we knew we had like one or two of these clubs, you know, maybe. <laughs> Could take a couple of them. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden they turned into like the, you know, 1980s Yankees. And oh it was my like, God, yeah. The, the talent pool was so deep. We were like, oh, well, we're screwed. They called in <laughs> Gerlach. He's dropping nines. Like it was gnarly. We lost. 
but that was you know 2016 and now it's 50 clubs plus i just noticed that on your hat when you were saying that it's crazy <laughs> yeah the board riders thing's sick now San Clemente's Wickwire, Seal Beach legend. I remember him and David Towers back in 81 and 82 when the pier got knocked down. Everything changed. Those dudes are Jerry and Rory to kids like us. Whoa. No, Full 100%. legend on the couch. 100%. Chaz and Dave were like. That Dave Sowers guy, I hear that name yeah, he's, in the he's documentary. Around. He'll bunch. be cruising around. Um, and he still surfs. Like Those guys were running the show. And it was. Dave was a goofy foot. Chaz was the regular foot. So you kind of just picked your camp. It was good time. <laughs> good times. Chaz still rips. I forget. I, I think Biola's posted or someone posted a clip of you ripping one time on some like lost lunch party thing or something. Hey, Chaz, Dave said get back into the sanding bay. Rick Williams. Yeah, that's funny. Rick Winters. <laughs> Winters. Sorry. I can barely read those little ones down there. It's still kind of holding up with the tide. I know. We're getting blessed today. Easier than, than I thought, don't you think, Laddie? Packing shore break uh, tubes after morning coffee is core. You should have seen it at sunup. It was a lot more critical looking. It, it looked like a cleaner version of yesterday, but just gutting. Oh. It's always better earlier. <laughs> no, Joe hit me, hit me early and was like, dude, it's going off i'm all you know i'm like i better put this the rain boots on and walk well, I ran down it's yeah. going i was doubting how lucky we could get today but i guess we kind of lucked out no you guys i mean seriously you guys kind of scored no i was like this I go, it was a rare be bird. A gamble a rare bird <laughs> yeah we're so stuck look at that look, there's look at the beach lined up right here it's crazy it's a real swell event we're reporting on we got expert analysts. Yeah, I saw Channel 5 down here. Yeah, Channel 5 is down here. The couch show is down here. Our news show. Boots in the sand, getting the goods. Yeah. Yeah, the Are news you? doesn't have anything better to do. As soon as water touches the parking lot, they're like, <laughs> Doppler 9000. We've got water flooding, coastal flooding in the <laughs> Seal Beach area. You're like, get out of here. Used to do that every swell when we were little. I saw the water went all the way down to the boardwalk. You could yeah. see the water, or it must have been yesterday or last night or something. Came yeah. over last night. Yeah, huh? yeah, it breached yesterday, actually. It was uh, it was thumping down in front of my house. So I'm down on the south end. It was it was big slabs. Yeah, it pretty much exploded, like, what, two or three yesterday afternoon? Yeah. Well, yeah. I ran to crabs and surf river and surfing, like, 200 yards. Oh, look at this guy. Backhand right. goes down. How was river? What's was the difference between north side and south side? coconuts and no coconuts <laughs> is that ba no barrels on that side yeah Left well they're barrel. both loaded up with backwash and they've got that in common <laughs> yeah there's a there's north side lefts used to be the real deal like every regular foot from seal beach from like the late 70s all the way up until probably the the late 90s has an amazing backside because of that left it's trippy because there's that wall next to here. When I was a Grom in the late 70s, 80s, Chaz was all over the walls at Harbor Surf Shop. I would gaze up at those picks while ordering a 20. I missed the name on that. Look at the that fans is. are going nuts for Chaz, Chaz dude. Hopkins. <laughs> I know, and no hate mail at, e at all either. I'm pretty sure. No, all the hate mail is for me, trust me. <laughs> Omar's just, he's, he's, uh, he's screening those ones. The Uggs are back. Yes, they are. It's cold enough I'm now. I'm sure we'll get some hate for those. I get so much hate for the Uggs. Like, um, Where's Parsons? Cause the subject of Uggs. He's always has Uggs. He was like the poster yeah. child for them for what? Like early 80s, right? Yeah, forever. Yeah. Well, a lot of people, I don't know if they don't. Maybe bought a house off of that gig. <laughs> a lot of people think like, Uggs are like only like girls wear them or something. They think it's weird that I have Uggs on the beach. Well, but as I was long like, as you don't roll the tops down, weren't, we, fine. weren't they made for that? Yeah. These ones are the J Bay ones. You probably have. Maybe you got a pair of these. The, maybe Dave. The, uh, <laughs> no, no. I haven't had a pair of those. Well, he doesn't go for the Uggs either. Dude, they're decades. leather and stuff. I, well, see, I have Sherpa line uh, rain boots instead. Yeah, I know. Those are, I saw you with those this morning. Those are sick. Yeah, they're great. Flip Look at flops. flip flops. There we go see? wrong with rainbow. That's as low as it gets. You just have the flip flops in the middle of January or December. Okay, look at this guy paddling in. Does he want it? This thing's going to bowl out so hard. 
backside just lip <laughs> caught in the lip. Bye-bye. I heard there's free foo acts with every couch surfing merch order this week. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't it, struck that deal yet. We haven't uh, struck that one. I love it, Matt. <laughs> nice oh, way, look at nice this way guy. to stitch me up. Oh, packs it. Had some form in the barrel. Is that Aaron Clark? I think that's a Newport guy. Oh, he got drained. What about that? So Domkey, Brad Domkey's out here jumping off the soft top. Didn't didn't we get one earlier? Yeah, he got a super uh, super good one. We missed his best one, but we got like a decent one. What's the best barrel you see on here? Who's got who's got the one out here? I know it's a long hike, but it's time to couch surf Black's Beach. I don't know how we'd do that one. That'd be tough. Gosh, we talk about it though. All the time. Huh? That's a tough one. Huh? Like today or like recently or. What are, you, what are you talking, Best Barrel? Like all time, I guess. Nolan Raposa last year, the day that Slater showed up, lit it up. Like, like yeah. no one I've seen ever so light it up. I think Kirk had a good run on that swell, too. Kirk had a couple, but Nolan, was, he had probably a dozen that, like, your jaw would drop. It was um, you know what? I'm just, we'll just cut the cord right here. <laughs> Undisputed king of Southside, Chris Waring is yeah, oh, the yeah, Best Barrel. Sure. Oh, okay. Chris Waring, hands down, Best Barrel's out here. No, I agree. Best and longest. Probably probably the most talented surfer to ever come out of town, too, I'd say. Yeah. Like, just gnarly. There's no Raposa. Yeah, it's right oh, there. There's, there's no Speak of the devil. Yeah. Look at this guy just in bed in the lip. Oh, my God. Get this one. Yes, Nolan. Yeah, Nolan. You. Dude, we were just saying you just put on the performance of a lifetime last year. Dude, I, need, I thought the performance was going to come down right now on the show. Well, that would be insane if you did that. <laughs> that would be even better. Suit up. Oh, okay, backhand. This guy pulls it. Backwash oh. slam. It looks scary out there, dude. Okay, we got Nolan Raposa, world-class surfer, just rolled okay. out. I was on the live watching you guys down here. You were? This is way better than Surfline Cam, that's for sure. Oh, that I love the Surfline cam. <laughs> well, you can't because see it anything. Never, no, it does not give you the actual, like, any good barometer of how it is. I'm going to Chaz's forecast from here on out. Tell me how it looks from the camera. Right on. You're not even down here. Okay, Nolan, dude. I'm claiming this guy's the next guy to qualify, I hope. Yeah. We, want, <laughs> we all want that. Best shore break rider. Question mark. We just said Chris Waring owns it out here. And Nolan Raposa is Where is Chris? Hot on his tail. Yeah, he could be working <laughs> some, maybe. Yeah, it could be working. He's on on fireman, wants to be fireman patrol. Yep. Working hard at it. Good luck to you, Chris. Oh, he's gonna be a fireman? Yep. Watching live at Nice Day Barbershop in Huntington Beach. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you for watching. I've learned a lot already this show. Learned that Chaz has a forecast company <laughs> coming out. And oh. I can't thank you enough for keep mentioning that. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh. Blow it up. Dude, you've come into the Shire. This is like, <laughs> this yeah. was totally un, unprovoked <laughs> visit here. So I'm so happy you guys Dude, will have me here. This is awesome. We're happy that we've been accepted by the locals. We, we know we can't do this show unless Just off the, the locals record, are backing it. Off Seals. the record, that's all Chad. Chad okayed it. I didn't. <laughs> Seal is firing, which I was there. I'm watching <laughs> on a flight. Hi, Chaz. Can't wait for summer surf camp. You. Oh, yeah, yeah Jack. Jack Reynolds. Jack Nol- Reynolds. Nolan was a Chaz surf camp guy. Really? Uh, yeah, we do a surf school, too. I do everything surf. Dude, you're, you got a lot of things going on. Full plate, just like you. <laughs> yeah, there goes Blair Conklin. Oh, tucks in tight. Goes Min- past the photographer, but gets eaten up. Min- when are you going to run the DACA? Oh, yeah, you want to run that thing? You tell me. Well, uh, Sardellis is here. We can have him talk about it. Okay. Well, there's only there's only three microphones. Here, I'll I'll step away. I had my moment in the in the. Dude, Will, in the thank sun. you so oh, much. Uh, thanks so much for having me. It's an yeah. absolute pleasure. You're an absolute legend here. Okay, Chaz Wickwire. Oh, get in here. We're gonna run Check the. Check out his forecast. Check out his surfboards. Support locals. Oh, come in, Chris Sardellis. Dude, thanks so much. Appreciate it. What's up, boys? Boys, boys, boys. Yes, Arch. Right. Good morning. Chris Woo. Sardellis, uh, local legend that. photographer. This thing's going to spit. Oh, 
Oh, there's some bombs coming. I'm missing it. Oh. Yeah, it's, yeah, hard. it's hard to have you your can't back. Take, you're going to miss some photos it's if you're a, sitting here. It's, it's hard right. to have your back to the surf and then turn around and look at You're like, oh, my god. No, I know. It's so it's weird. Stare huh? at a screen. It's an odd concept, isn't it? Well, you know why we do this? Because otherwise we'd be pointing left and right, yeah. and then the viewers don't they don't see what you're pointing at. You got to... You gotta, you know, you gotta talk about what's on the screen, Goes not, yeah. the not down said. the beach. I mean, Chris was—he's—he's he's LB guy, but <laughs> he was like an original Harbor '80s crew, and uh, he's actually why I got into photography because I folded my knee in half in <laughs> 20 like 12. So during my rehab, he was like, "Dude, buy my old camera. I bet you do killer at it. Let's go shoot one day." Yeah, and, and it I was. Out. It's, I've been shooting ever since. Uh, Center spread, everything. Yeah, yeah. Sarge, <laughs> the legend. Oh yeah. I know you. Kuna, yeah, love. Well, you get you getting some insane water Ooh. shots. Yeah, he does. He works hard. Oh, you guys were heckling me the one day in Huntington. Huh? Oh, <laughs> behind the peak, airdrop, uh, lipped in the head, straight on the beach. It's such odd. Like Duke said, don't turn your back to the ocean. Oh no, it's like a concept. Get it. We're already breaking Duke's rules. I know. First I want to do this. Oh, this guy's okay. digging hard on the Ooh. left. Goes left. Oh yes. Oh, that's such punch a, out. That kick angle out. Going towards the pier. To the left. Is yeah. We got well, more sets, or should I start? Wait. Okay. Let's watch this set. Then we're gonna talk about this documentary absolutely. you've been working on, Chris Sardellis. I used to surf too. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Of course. We're gonna talk <laughs> about that. How oh, this it? guy just got lip launched. Yeah. Okay. We have sets approaching. Nolan Raposa isn't out there quite yet. He's. Yeah. He's, He's thinking LBC. about it. Nolan's LBC too. LBC. I know. L Nolan's yeah, yeah. So if you're Long Beach, you can be on Seal Beach. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You come, it's a bridge pass. You get a bridge pass, they call it. This guy's digging hard. Oh. Jason yeah, we got, we got a few LB kids, actually, on our program. I Just mean, where else can you surf in Long Beach? Isn't this well, the closest place? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. It it's, was, it's, it's novelty. It's more novelty than Seal is. But, um, oh, look at this one. Yeah, there's a kegger sometimes. Uh yeah, we're we're a city of like twenty four thousand, I think, some crazy low number. So it's gnarly for us as a city to compete against the Huntington beaches, which are one hundred ninety six thousand. Yeah, got guys. right. Like or so the population 000. is. Ooh. Yeah, so we we're we're searching for talent anywhere we can find it within <laughs> reasonable limits. That's you know? not what you told me when I was here. <laughs> what? Get your bridge pass. I got so much shit for coming over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was before my time. I mean, you guys oh. are older than me. <laughs> Paying your dues. Yeah, there was a guy named Steve Sweet. Look at this bomb. Dennis Ward. Like and subscribe, everybody. Yeah, hit that like button. Pushes There's it There's a out. lot of people in here and not, no, no likes. No Ooh, likes. Nobody just likes like. us. Oh, boogie. Nice. Yeah. If you're watching, just hit the like. You know why? Because it pushes it out to more people. Dude. Look at this set. wave. I always want to put my camera away. Right when you put it away, I know. Oh, always. That's weird. Like, there was no mushy waves earlier in the morning. And right. now there's, like, mushy waves. It's weird. It's a tide thing. But uh, yeah, it's it's kind of odd. We're still a little steep too. This place likes seeing it. fat ones. This place likes right after ring too. Yeah, Vince Vance Will. Cameron. Vance. You got a couple? <laughs> He's in the movie. Sick. Okay. Yeah. Vance Cameron. Yeah. Look at all the lokes are gathering around. Yeah. He's in the movie. He he's. A he works in the fire department now. Yeah, a yeah. lot of fire. Taylor Evans is a firefighter yeah, too, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh my God! Go! Down. Is this guy going? Yeah, yeah, Look at this, this slab! Pull in! Oh, oh my God! Damn. That that looked like it hurt. Let's hope he's okay. Whew. Popped up. Saw his oh, head pop up. One. Who's this? This is it. Pull in! Oh, oh no. half toss. This is yeah. carnage. You see how hard it is out here? See, We're riding shorter boards. This yeah. guy made it. Well, you got to go short, otherwise you outrun it. Yeah. Short and thick. Well, did you Way see the, the guy's first wave? He looked like he had a longer bow or board, and that thing just poked. Yeah. Like the, oh, that, oh, that was, was sick. Yeah. Like Blair's <laughs> little stumpy boards, you need the paddle speed, but then you don't need the length. Right. Because the barrel's so, like, cu cupped out. Yeah, it's more almond-y. We call it the almond. Oh, my God, look at this thing. Where's Waring? Dig, That's, we dig, were just dig. wondering. Where is Waring? He's the best here. Oh, butt stall. Oh. Okay, is that set over? Is it? Geez, it's still just coming. It's just my luck. We're gonna we're gonna talk. No, you got plenty of time. <laughs> I just wanted to shoot it. Oh, you want to <laughs> shoot it? Okay. No, I'm good. We're gonna talk about the dock. Absolutely. You know, a lot of guys are from Long Beach. You know, um, Sean Collins is from Long Beach. Didn't know that. Yes. 
uh, Mark Martinson from Long Beach. Flame was from Long Beach. Flame was from Long Beach. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he went to Long Beach. Long Beach State. Flame was like a Dana Point guy or yeah. something. Just well, he of moved the creek, down there. All I mean, the creek stuff. It's crazy. I was at a like a some sporting game and ended up sitting next to his parents. Yes. And I was like, they're like, yeah, you might know our son Larry Moore. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I seen him on the wall in Harbor. Oh yeah, he was used to work at Harbor. Yeah, and then when I was shooting photos, he was still alive, and he gave me a lot of work. So we had a good relationship. He's a good guy. He used to own a, a head shop. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> Back oh. in the 70s, like hippie. Now they oh, do the they hey, well, now they do the Follow the Light Foundation right, in, right. in honor of Flame. So there you go. The legacy lives. That's sick. Okay, I think this set's... Whatever, we can record. Okay. Watching from Humboldt. Thanks, Hippie Aloha. Larry. From Costa Mesa. <laughs> Learn how to surf at the point. Miss the old boardwalk. Hippie Larry, the 80s in Newport Beach. And the parties. It was off the hook. <laughs> this isn't Newport. It kind of looks like it, but kinda, it's not. Yeah, people get confused all the time. Watching from West Virginia. <laughs> Sick. Joshua Tree checking in. Well, every, we we're go. all over the place. Rad. Kalani Rob, where are you at? Yeah, I'm surprised he's not <laughs> here. Oh, he's right. always, Blair's here, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he, Kalani's on this place, too. He's, he knows yeah. what's happening. That's but he's, he's got perfect wedges out in the desert right looks now. Like this Porto. looks like Porta. Yeah, yeah. A little less. Have you guys have you seen that Palm Springs thing in person? Uh, no. Would love to, though. Teddy's, yeah. Teddy's like the, the He's like the. Yeah. 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 I just bought some Uggs. <laughs> he goes, I lived there for six months, and I come back for six months. Is that, oh, that how yeah, it works? That's how it works. Because I was wondering, Teddy must be Jones and kind of <laughs> if he's stuck out there right now. Or like, he's getting in his barrels right now. Seeing <laughs> some waves. He's getting okay. barreled every minute. Let's let's talk about the now the set's over. Let's yeah, yeah. can you cue up the um we're gonna watch a little uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, is it? Cormac. That's Danny yeah. Cormac. Yeah, this is it. So these are some clips from a documentary about harbor surfboards Absolutely, that yeah. Danny Herrera. That's Danny Herrera, he's from Long Beach. There's Chaz, Chaz. Wickwire going through the pier. I think All he's right. the first person to ever shoot the pier. That's the witch. There's Chaz. Yeah, I've never seen it before. That's why this amazes me. And there's the setup. I guess a little more westy right there. There's so, I mean, this is this is seal back in the 80s. Well, it's kind of the same, but it's a little bit more consistent back then. There's Danny H., Danny Herrera. Woo. There is Wick, or Sowers on the north side. Sowers. This guy's shrapping. Woo. Yeah, he's and on the national team with Marty Thomas and Mike Morgan. There's me beefing. Here's the, oh, Tom. Tom Goff. Late, great Aww. Tom Goff. That's me. We're all riding twin fins. Uh, These are all twin fins. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. like the twin fin yeah. segment. Wickwire just makes that. Ooh, me. Is that you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's Sours. That was a good time. Uh, that's, and, that's and this is when the pier legend, got yeah. smashed in so 82 like or something? 82, 83. Harper is always into photos and, and filming and stuff. So he got the first v VH VHS. That's me. And then, uh, oh, Wickwire had a dumper right there. I was in the eighth uh, grade. Dude, Wickwire is getting time. all the deep ones. Yes, he deeps. And there's Sours. Sours again. The north side used to be so good. That's the left that doesn't break. There's uh, Simo. Simmons, yeah. At the shop, there's Rich. <laughs> so this is inside Harbor Shop. Yeah, there's doing this league. There's Grom Simo getting his board dialed in. And there they are making boards right there. So it, everything's in the back of the shop, and they still do this. It's like the oldest. Well, they don't glass anymore. They they shape. Yeah, they still shape. It's the oldest running surf shop in the world. Is it? Yeah. Okay. 1962. There they are making this. Is so these are some clips from the documentary. What's what's the documentary called? The longest ride. The longest ride. Yeah. So, yeah. That was just the 80s part. So it goes 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, up until now. So Harbor's the longest con running shop yeah. in the world? Yeah. 1959. No yeah. No way. Yeah. That was our church growing up. Yeah. Uh huh. That was our saltwater wax. <laughs> to talk about the Co coconut smelled, uh, <laughs> you know, church. We would just go in, you'd. If you got props from anybody, you were over the moon, which you never did because it was all about beat you down. Yep. <laughs> and then oh, that was on sick. top of beat you down, you get taped to the tree with your <laughs> pants pulled down and drawn on your face with uh, Mark's lot markers. It was great. Yeah, we loved you. That's why That's why we did it. We did it out of love. So. But you can't do that now. Like, kids are Sorry, too soft. Bring it closer. Closer, yeah. okay. It's all about love. And uh, it's just keep it's just a hierarchy. They still do it. It's in certain spots. It just keeps everyone in line. 
Mm-hmm. You know? So the dock's all about the history of Harbor Surf Shop yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. He started original, right here. Original surf shop. They make surfboards. When's it coming out? Is there a release we're, date? We're, or we're where heading you... for March, probably at the Bay Theater, because the Bay Theater is being cleaned up right now, and um, he's almost done refurbishing it. So, And uh, that's where they used to watch surf movies in the Bay Theater in the, in the 60s and 70s. So, And we got also... we got. Um, Five, oh, that was all the way up to the 80s because I saw like a f- yeah. free ride, free ride two or whatever there. And they would show uh, five summer stories there every year. Yeah. Yeah. So it that was, was my first surf movie. So it's going to fit full in the town. Yeah. So. How did you source all the footage? Like, how most were, of it were is, guys filming back then? Yeah. Or? Harbor filmed a lot of his stuff. So Harbor, and then I got Greg McGilvery. He's in the movie and um, he made all the surf movies back then. So we're using a lot of his stuff that he followed the Harbor team of guys around. Yeah, because so. I'd imagine the most difficult part of making one of those historical documentaries is is sourcing and finding yes, all that finding footage. All and then exactly. someone's like, "Yeah, I got it." They're like, <laughs> "I got it on my tapes in the garage." Yes, exactly. Like a lot of converting. I've converted. Yeah, a lot. yeah. you got to digitize it all. It's 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 a lot of work. Well, 70 percent of it was probably from Harbor, so it's all. He's a very he was known for documenting a lot. So he would shape and then shoot photos. And it's Rich Harbor. Rich Harbor, yeah. and he's still he's still running the shop. No, he passed away, oh, he passed away. three years ago, I think. Robert Housen is running the front, yeah. and he kind of runs it. And then um, Melissa's daughter. Melissa's daughter is still doing the surfboards in the back. Yeah. So it's still thriving. It's still pumping. No, we love Harbor. They're a huge proponent for our Seal Beach Surf Champs, as is In Flight oh. and Kate and Surf Shop. Relax it. So. Four three zero five six one four. A lot, number. lot of love <laughs> for our local shops. Yeah, and uh, he's been here so long. He's just part of Seal. So, I mean, you see all the triangles. There's, oh yeah. Everywhere you look, there's a Harbor Triangle here. So. I didn't know that it was like the original surf shop. Yeah. He had or so the many. Running. He had Sean Collins ride for him. Larry Moore. Uh, all these legends in the '60s were on his team. Bill Fury. I mean, his team was like one of the best teams. Rich Chu. All these guys, if you go back and look, they were winning contests. Look at these two girls right here have matching yeah, Harbor exactly. hoodies behind us. That's the one, that's the one of the most <laughs> famous, iconic. It's so easy. The triangle. Yeah, look at that. That's yeah. what you see in Seal. Yeah. All over. You see it's him? like Frog House in Newport. <laughs> <laughs> you see him everywhere, actually. He's East Coast. He's heavy in the East Coast. So. Do Groms hang at the surf shops anymore? No, is that like not. A, not a thing no. anymore? No. I think they do to a degree. Because I know when I roll into in-flight, there's like, there's a couple depends Groms. who's working. Like if there's a little, you know, if one of the boys is working, there will be a little a little vibe happening. That's good. And that, then, yeah. So, I mean, there's, the shops aren't completely dead. I don't think it's as much of a hang as when no. you know, I was little. I mean, even when but, I was little, when Surfside Sports was in the Blackies oh, parking yeah. lot. We'd be in there like wrestling in the UGG boots. <laughs> yeah. They'd have all the UGG boots in the boxes, and, and you could have like boxing matches, and Groms would be flying into the UGG boots, but it wouldn't, they wouldn't get and hurt. And the salesman was going to get the fuck out of All that, yeah, and yeah, tied, yeah. tied to the parking <laughs> yes. lot pole and all that stuff. So, see, it's, I think it's a surfer thing. Yeah, it must be. We all love each other. It's all but love. That was when it was right on the beach, too, so you could be like right. surf and then roll in there. Yeah, kind of crazy. It's actually going all the way through the Dude, tide. Look at it. We're, we're going to start right couch now. couch is getting blessed. We were going to start right <laughs> now. We've waves. already been going for like an hour and something. It's crazy. So there's a, a good story yesterday. Um, Colby Turner, Ryan Turner's son, sure. went out the back at Third uh, Reef, Yeah, lost his board. It's still there on the rocks. No way. Got pulled out to the tip because it was huge. And had to swim in, assisted with his buddy yesterday. Almost oh, drowned. That's oh, heavy. Wow. Yeah. So the board is still on the rocks today. They're going to try to get it in a couple of days. So. Oh, that is hilarious. Yeah, because that's... I mean, sketchy, but... Sketchy, yeah. Esther, <laughs> Esther was breaking yesterday, too. So. Yeah, no, Sammy Wick went out there. Oh, the boys how got far out do you think that is? A mile? A mile and a half. A is mile, a mile and, and a half? half? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was... I under. I undercooked it. I thought it was like 0. 0.6. Yeah, no, it's a mile and a half. That, that day that, that I took that shot of that photo you guys saw, yep. Sean Collins told me, stay home. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be on fire. He knew. That that shot we showed earlier, yeah. the big one. Yeah, well, I was on a boat. You're on the boat I was from on, where? Standing on a boat. There's a boat from the harbor mouth or no, something. No, right out here. He's parked right inside in the little channel, standing on the tip, crap. leaning out. Yeah. Do you have a favorite photo you took out here? Ah, uh, that's hard. That's a hard one. <laughs> I got a few of them. Yeah, it's hard to go through that right now. <laughs> thousands and thousands. So. <laughs> um. So who is someone narrating the doc? 
Uh, actually, we're doing without narration. We find, we tried to do it without the narration. It's just inter- interviews. It, it just everybody's talking about it, and it just fits better. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. narration will take away from it. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, it works really well. So, actually, Chad's going to be filling in on the, the narration, uh, yeah. quote unquote. Yeah. Yeah. Once I come out of this cold all the way, yeah, a couple yeah. of Wellesy narration this guy, sound bites. This guy likes it. Tamara. Who's Blaze Roche. Blaze Roche. Who's he? Blaze Roche. HP kid. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that. He's pointing out he his won sponsors. Our, uh, <laughs> he won our Steel Beach Surf Champs this year. Ah. <laughs> so is he right for us? Uh, yeah, no, Steel he's an HP guy, but he had crazy backhand, just slayed, right, slayed right. the crew and uh, took the crown. We're still we're solid, right? Still. What about Surfside? Is that yeah. not? Is that a different Ooh. team, different city, different? No, nah, they're part of the crew, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little. It's, it's, a a, it's about thing. ready to. They're dredging it, so it's going to be cooked. It's got was, about three weeks. It's I was over. not allowed to surf there in the '77. But that's a different crew back. Like there's the SEAL crew, then the Even, Surfside. Yeah, they're all different crews. Yeah, they're all but, crew. Yeah. But now Rub-a-Dub lives there, who is a former Lakewood, Lakewood. guy. But uh, he he surfed for our club a bunch of times. He hasn't lately, but him and his son both T Bone, phenomenal. Goofy yeah, T Bone. That place. The, the talent runs in the uh, in the family. In They're the both blood, very huh? very good surfers. So it's crazy how that um, works. That place yeah. is almost. Or that place was like our Oxnard. It was like a little localized in the seventies yeah. and eighties. It was. You had the bark to get in there. Mm-hmm. People met you at the gate. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> There's a guy named Bear that would drive around in a little, like a little, uh, there was that cart, cart wheeler, and he'd be on the sand, and he'd go up to you, you can't surf her, you gotta leave. Yeah. That's a good name to be a strong arm with a bear. The bear, and he was a very big beard, big thick guy. Had a Look wheel. at high tide, it just went dead flat, like you guys were saying it was going to happen. Should we check on uh, East Coast, see what's happening over there? Oh, yeah, we'll get an East Coast update. Okay, I'm going to bounce. You guys right. are awesome. You are? Okay. Sarge. Hey. Yeah, sorry. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you. Thank Sarge, thank you. legendary. Until next time. Keep, it, keep an eye out <laughs> for that dock. Absolutely. March, I'll let you guys know. You'll know. You'll okay. get the blitz. Here we go. Coming March. Uh, Harbor oh. Surfboards dock. Thank you. Thank you very much. Longest ride. The Ooh. longest ride. Yeah. All right. Hey, we got some ledges on the couch today. Yeah, that's slowed down a bit, huh? I don't know where Simo's at. <laughs> Simo's coaching. Okay, Flagler Beach. Let's see what the East Coast is doing with Axel Blaze. Not Blaze Roche, Axel Blaze. It's the opposite. Oh, bombs coming right now. Right when I, right when we cut to that. So right now we're at the beach of NSB, and it's seven to one foot by the inlet. It's one to two, I don't know why we're not there, but I know I, why I'm not, because it's freezing. It's like in the 50s, and I need a 4.3, but I really need a 5 mil, but that's just me. But it's been so cold lately, but Merry Christmas. Did you get that now? <laughs> you guys all got that? All right, thank you, Axel. Yes. Of course, the sickest wave came in right when we did that. But <laughs> it's um, Murphy's Law. Who got it? Noah, we got it. We're going to replay it. We got replay on this show somehow. Thank you, Axel. Thank you, Axel, for Axel that Blaze. report. Axel Blaze Lacey on Instagram. East, East Coast looks, they've been having a lot of waves. What looks, a little edge. Have you scored over there, East Coast waves? You know, I'll tell you what. Yeah, Shaddy. Um, I've gotten great waves in New Jersey and <clears throat> New York and two of my favorite places. Look, looks like when it's good, it's right. really good there. Here, yeah, here's exactly. The wave. Here's what we missed. Okay, here's what we missed when Axel was doing his report. Ooh, look at this thing. Take it away. Who is that? Oh, my God. That was sick. Pumping through it. Who is that? A local kid or what? Hard to tell. It's not tight enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get tighter, video guy. We can't even tell who it is. Later, Sarge. Yes, yeah, Sarge. Oh, that was that thing was sick. That guy was on his toenails oh, for a I second know. there. That was a nuts drop. What about should we watch that Domkey one? It was pretty impressive. There's is that the Grom? IPD. Yeah, no clue. He's got a short board there. If it's IPD, he ain't from around here. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> the it's dog, probably from Costa Mesa. <laughs> the, the dog is asking how much longer. Dude, as long I mean, we're still going. We, we got a, I don't know, another hour. Or so. How long we've we been going? Probably an hour. We've been going yeah, an hour. I, I mean, goes by quick. 
Yeah, I, t- I told Dave Goodrich, who's the owner of uh, Alternative Surf, who's like kind of the, you know, one of the, the head honchos, the boogie movement here in town. Yeah. To come hang because when... They're, they're a big part of this community. Yeah, huh? I mean, you can't not surf south side and have an interaction with one of the sponges. Totally. And, and 20 years ago, it wouldn't even be a conversation. But nowadays, <laughs> like, these guys hold it down for us. And we've just grown uh, very close in our old age. Yeah. And we're one happy family. So there's a lot of that at the wedge, too. A lot of the surfers on yeah, there. Get the, Goody the on here. Borders. He can call out all the sponges. He knows all these guys. That's who you know. If you're going to sponge, you got to do drop me. Oh, that was a sick drop. Come out of that thing. Oh, almost. Oh, he went okay. far, then just went head first on the sand. Okay. Saying Caleb Kreuzer. Oh, yeah. Caleb, Caleb Caleb's Crozer. out here a lot. Seaside Grom. Yeah. I think he's claiming that last wave. Was, was that him? That was him, maybe, who we were going. Who yeah, that, that could have been. Tippy toe late drop. He got a super sick one out here last year. There's Aaron Clark. He's a Newport guy. Infiltrated somehow. <laughs> oh, who's this? Down the beach. Guy's formed out, whoever it is. Sneaks under it. Little stylish thing. Yeah. Who was that? Was that Igarashi? No. No, no. I don't know if the, those guys are in town right now. I, uh, the brother was Kiana. Kyan, I think they're both in Japan. They're both. You've worked with. I mean, you must know them really good. Yeah, great family, great kids. So, you were like the Quicksilver team marketing guy for years, right? Yeah, gosh, sixteen years. I had a I had a long run there. From like those were the glory days of the oh, surf yeah. world, right? Oh three to like night to twenty nineteen. Oh three. So were you just flying in private jets and crazy stuff like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> anything <laughs> anything cool that happened, I usually got bumped out. <laughs> But, yeah, no, I worked under Strider, and, and uh, Todd Klein had kind of, I think, ran the team for a long time and had moved into a bigger marketing role, and Strider took Todd's role, and then I kind of came in as uh, Strider's kind of henchman and handled the West Coast and was the li- liaison for Hawaii and and um, and the East Coast. And, yeah, and then Strider kind of moved on, and I evolved into that role and then did it for however long. But, yeah, it was a long run. It was fun. Great yeah. great crew, great people. Bob McKnight's an absolute legend. Um, fun times. I bet. I bet you just got to see the world, too, doing that. Yeah, yeah. And I also saw places that I didn't really want to go because they would – when I first kind of got on there, I was doing a lot of coaching, and they were sending me to, like, QS events, so I'd end up at, like, the worst places. <laughs> <laughs> Strider was going to all the good places. Exactly. Those guys are going to CTs, and I'm going to, like, Okay, Virginia, we're going to Virginia Tavarua. Beach. You guys got to <laughs> handle this Virginia Beach thing. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, someone had to do it. Good times, though. Good yeah. times. At least it was kind of the glory days for a little while. Yeah, Simo's on his way. We got Ryan Simo, one of my yeah. favorite people in general. What about you? Were a pro surfer as well. Were you right? Were a pro surfer for quick? I, I tried. No, I tried. I, I you did some QSs and stuff. Yeah, right? I tried. Like I said, I tried. I sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I you didn't I, suck. I, I couldn't figure out. You're one of the guys. I, th- I think of you and Simo when I think of like Seal Beach pros. Yeah. Well, Chaz and Ryan were like my gurus. Those guys like helped me a lot, but I still couldn't put two good waves together to save my life. <laughs> Especially in a little. Is time that what frame. you tell the Groms when you're coaching them? Uh, well, <laughs> I, it's literally it's it's not rocket science, and you know back <laughs> then I think I, I probably it was top three back then, mm. you know, and then it went to two. So a little made easier it, to get yeah, make it made the it heat. easier, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah, I c- couldn't surf my way out of out of a paper bag with a jersey on. And it was just the way it went. So whatever. But you did it. I tried. Awesome to hear surfing history. Thanks, guys. G Coconut. Best Clay, Dane, or Kelly story from Quicksilver. <laughs> too, Give us a Kelly too story. Too many. Too oh, many. Oh, someone just got barreled and kicked out. There's Blaze Blaze. I got a great Clay one, though. Okay, uh, Clay one. Clay one. It was in his movie, Just Add Water. Mm-hmm. He's, like, making heats at the cold water. Ripping. Yeah. Me and Clay Marza, he's one of the best free surfers in the world. For sure. <clears throat> and he must have been maybe 1920 at this time. And we were doing, we were filming the movie for him, and it was kind of shining a light on his uh, kind of 
autism, the, yeah. the autism that he had. And sure. So he's just flaring through rounds, and he got to this one heat, and he was just kind of done putting on wetsuits, done waking up, going to the comp, just done. So he needs, like, basically, like, a, I think it was a three or a one three. And I'm like, Clay, all you have to do is just stand up and just do a quick little, like, little widget turn. Oh! oh carnage. And he, and the wave, and it was, like, in the dying minutes, and he literally just laid on his board and just... Just didn't do it. Just <laughs> stared at me, and I'm telling the telling him this off the cliff, and it's it's like it's because you told him. Well, he just was over <laughs> it. He was like, I just am done with the event, basically. And he just <laughs> kind of refused to ride another wave, and then got third. Oh my god! Pretty classic, though. Or like they had made these shorts, and they were doing like um, kind of. Uh, like the Clay Marzo. No, uh, they were doing like model. videos of just talking about the product. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. I bet he was great at that. <laughs> he like <laughs> held up a pair. He's like, can you guys not make these anymore? <laughs> <laughs> at least he was honest. Uh, brutally honest. <laughs> yeah. Like like little kids when they just, didn't you say that or something? <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. Though. I mean, having the opportunity to work with the, some of the best athletes in the world was a dream for me. You know, that's no doubt about it. I was more, more than lucky, I guess. What about like the most impressive session of Slater? Was there somewhere where you're just like, this guy's so next level. I can't uh, probably in France at, at the event that he won, he was pretty incredible. I think Dane had a good run in that event and uh, Kelly ended up winning. It was, he's just, he's next level. He's a freak. Yeah. But I, I I would never get to go to, like, the Tahiti's or whatever. Because uh, I was going to say, what, like, Cloud Break? Or, that's what I thought you were going to say, like, Cloud yeah. Break or Chopu Like, or that's something. Belly's job, you know? So Belly got all the glamorous stuff. But Yeah. Um, oh, look at this kid digging. Nope. Bodyboarding. Yeah, I, I don't think I ever got to see the best of the best of Kelly, but the one I was on hand for was that France event. It, it was pretty sick. He's had a lot of, like, success in France. Didn't he yeah. win his first CT there? maybe 92 I, I swear but yeah so Possibly. he came last year belly was at my house the day before and this is literally t it's like a mirror image of last year it went nuclear belly was like does it do this all the time I'm like never are you <laughs> kidding me and uh and then the next day belly's like hey i'll be at your house i'm flying out tomorrow i'll come down check the surf hang out so he calls me he's like i slept in what are you doing i'm on shooting um I'm shooting photos on top of one of the houses because my buddy's doing construction on one of the beachfront homes. And um, he's like, all right, I'm coming. My bags are packed. I'm out of here. So he hangs up, and then Kelly calls me, and I'm like, oh, what is, uh-oh. So <laughs> Uh-oh. He said, uh-oh. <laughs> he was like, hey, is it really that good? I'm all, it's day of the year, but you guys are like 45 minutes away in San Clemente. You're already yeah. behind the eight ball, tides dropping. And like, you I, don't want to tell Slater it's on, and then well, he gets and here, and it's not and on. And again, he's looking at the cams going, I'm looking at the cams, and it doesn't look like it's anything. I'm all, yeah, you, you don't believe those things. So then they rocked up, and uh, it was pretty rad. He surfed, and then came in, and just got, I mean, the beach was probably five times as packed, and just got mobbed by kids. That's and crazy. And then signed autographs for like 45 minutes. It was pretty insane. I mean, for how much he gets um, mobbed by people, it's pretty cool how, like, open he is. No, like, I mean, talk about the ambassador of surfing. I mean, he gave everybody his time, took pictures. Yeah. They went back to our neighbor's pad where we got him some parking, and he hung out and hung out, like, with the local groms, our, our neighborhood kids, for, like, two hours. That's it was insane. insane. He's the man. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, people are still talking about I mean, he could him. obviously just be over, like, all the people hounding him and stuff. But he's always seems I text him and said, dude, are you around? Because it could be really good. He's like, nah, Florida. That would have been <laughs> sick. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, don't look that way. Look this oh way. Oh, my gosh. Drops in. Oh, does he make it? Oh, oh no, yeah. Sick. Comes out. Is that Crozier again? Who's that? Is that a look? No, a different guy. Who is that? We don't know. That yeah. was sick. Oh, a lot of unfamiliar that faces was a, out uh, here. That was tippy toe, like you said. We got to replay that one. Let's see if we can identify. Hopefully, he's a local. Or nah, based on the Wellesley's board. Wellesley's going to snap. Based on the board, I'd say no. <laughs> 
Guys are getting high fives. Oh, wait, no, that's Chase Grom. He's one of our local Chase Centeno. Yes, He's, Chase uh, Centeno. Ch- Chase is uh, one of our local lifeguards. He's a hammer. Perfect local lifeguard. Yeah, Gnarly got snowboarder, clip. too. Let's replay that thing. Oh, wait, there's bombs. Okay, don't replay that thing. Never mind. Uh-oh, Nolan Raposa's got his wetsuit on. That's a good sign. Oh, uh, Nol- Noli saw that one, and he's like, what? Gunter's here. Good. That means 28th isn't good. I don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about Newport. You're not <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of devastated because somehow I, I had, like, a 10-hour, t- like, weird flu thing. Didn't surf yesterday on the biggest day ever in Newport. Yeah. Oh, my God. Say hello to my friend Joe Dugan. He's watching. Yeah, Joe Dugan. Yeah, Joe. What's that? Nolan needs some food. I didn't bring any. Oh, here comes oh. a bomb. I know. Well, if it was a comp, I'd probably Actually, have some. Actually, bodyboarder swinging. Goes straight. If you slip, it's my fault. Do you know what the food is so good for in the tropics to put on your traction? It's all goopy. Okay, Nolan Raposa, Tyler Gunter, Pally get, him, get him over there for a little pre, pre-surf, what was in his head. Uh, yeah, Nolan yeah. here, come yeah, on in, Nolan. dude. Come on in. We got Nolan Raposa. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought oh this guy. My. This guy's digging, going left. Look Makes it left. to the bottom, long bottom, drawn out bottom turn. Nolan got one of the craziest lefts of all time <laughs> last year, apparently. You guys <laughs> should have had the couch here last year. Or actually, it was this year. My wife. What temp do you want me to bring? <laughs> <laughs> she heard me. Thanks, I, don't, I, don't think we had, yeah. I don't think we had the couch show going at that point. Yeah, no, that was the beginning of January, I think, right? Yeah. That was January yeah, we, 6th. Yeah, we, we didn't start until the end of January. So, Nolan, you were just in Hawaii. He was texting me like, Wellesley, is this swell going to be on? I'm like, I don't know. It's going to be big enough, but who knows? Like, it's You never know what you're going to get with Seal. And you came. I came. I canceled all my trips and everything to, you did? to surf Seal Beach. <laughs> yes. Um, but, I mean, when you see 8 to 12 foot waves on Surfline coming in in California, you kind of, like, never see that anyway. So it's, like, got to stay home for it. It's so hard to miss. Even when you guys get to travel across the world, is it still a bummer to, like, miss the hometown swell? Always a bummer. I mean, just because you know everything here. You have your car. You know all the people here. Like, Everything's so much more ideal here, you know. When you're in foreign locations, you're just hoping and praying that you're going to get the right time, right place. But you know you're going to get it here in California. Yeah. We have a replay here. You want to check this? Okay, replay. This is the local lifeguard, Ripper Grom. Oh, Chase. Got the one. This was crazy. Watch how he slips under the lip. Look at There he is right here. He's right behind us. Look at he got Get over here. here. Here's your wave right here. Oh. <laughs> You're going to see the replay. We've got to rewind it again. We'll play it again. We'll play it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Dude, you slipped no under that lip. That. <laughs> yeah? yeah? That was insane. Watch this thing. <laughs> what happened here? I'm all wet. What happened? Okay. Oh, I, I thought I was done right there. Felt it hit me in the back. And then daylight. Oh, oh. Yeah, that felt good. <laughs> One more time. You just, you, just got, you just got birthed. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Rebirth. How's this buckle right here? Oh, I thought I was, yeah. I thought, you were done. I thought I was eating shit for sure. <laughs> oh, that was well, sick. You got me out there. I'm going. Oh, yeah. What, what sled are you on right now? What are you riding? What is that thing? What is that thing? Who made it? Who made that thing? Oh, it's a Cordy. Okay, there you go. That's why I didn't recognize it. And it's not the uh, usual Cordell logo either. That thing should be a Chaz Wickwire board. Yeah, Cordy made me huh? a nugget little uh Oh, my shake. God. Look at these yeah, swell Chase. lines coming. Yeah, Chase. That was a sick one. Okay, all his friends are hoping we got their waves, too, but we don't know if we did. <laughs> Blame this guy. It's his fault. It's the video guy's fault. So we could get the clip, and then it just never happened. Video guy misses all the good ones. It's standard. <laughs> <laughs> Cade Malley, of course. He's 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 Wellesley's number one team rider, right? <laughs> he is. Dil- we'll just say he's very diligent. <laughs> I bet he doesn't miss one board rider's practice. He nothing. is a diligent and a diligent frother. 
he puts all the old school MCD stickers on his board. And stuff. Yeah, we love Kato. No, we love him. Oh my God, look at these sets. Grew up with Wells and Seal. He's a legend. Hey, kiddos are the next. His kiddos are the next generation of Seal legends. Oh, Jennifer, that's that's a big oh, stretch. Here comes the whiz. Oh, Blair Conklin. Oh, oh sick. Frothy bomb kicks out on the beach. Of was course. That, was that Lundquist? I don't know. I, I didn't see the last name, but yeah, if that was Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer, yeah, it could have been. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Jennifer Lundquist, yeah, Omar. Magahui, man. Deep, deep. Going deep right Jennifer there. Jennifer shooting, the, but I don't shooting, know. Yeah, that might be her married shooting. name. Be be cool to get a, a uh, swell update from Chaz, like a break. Chaz, down. swell you, update? Like you want to break it down? Like, Come on in. Like Sean Collins? Like what? Like tomorrow, the next day, what's it going to be? Oh, yeah, let's get a forecast. Okay. <laughs> oh, I heard, I heard carnage. I Are we that. getting these that clips? Wasn't even filming. Keep that, keep that head on a swivel, Noah. <laughs> okay. I love it. Chaz is gonna give us carnage. the official forecast for the next. What do you want to do? Next three days? Next week? Yeah, How sure. How do you want to do it? Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Wax okay, delivery. Here we go. The wife must have it on. We gotta at plug home. some merch. And got to plug some merch. my Grom brings it in. Grom came running down. Vaughn, man, good job. Say hi. Yeah, Vaughn. Got to get in front of the camera, bro. Here, get right here. Right here. Yeah, Vaughn. Throw the shakas. <laughs> Dude, Blair a, uh, Conklin's out there. Did you see that? Got the 2% bar. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, one of the customs. Yeah, we got a custom Yeah, the one. boys did some, oh, uh, that did was some customs nuts for left. the SC crew. I love it. Okay. Well, it's here now. No one can complain. Yeah, anyone wants foo wax, it's wax, right here. Wax that. So Chaz is going to give us like give us the three-day forecast because I get to surf the next two or three days, so I'm amping. So, so this energy, which absolutely went berserk yesterday afternoon around 2 or 3, it's going to slowly fade today. There will be fun leftovers for everywhere but Seal Beach probably tomorrow, and then we're going to see... <laughs> <laughs> good, good call. That's a good plug. <laughs> uh, we're going to see another swell event that's pretty similar to this one. The storm that made this one had a one following that's going to do pretty much the identical thing, um, but it's like maybe the 80% version. So long period stuff shows up Saturday, tomorrow, peak Sunday morning, kind of like this one. Uh, then some pretty decent middle range period stuff for Monday going into the new year. And then after that, there's there's one more low that tried to follow but kind of got stuck right around the date line, which will give us pretty lully, inconsistent, a little bit steeper northwest energy, 295-ish, um, starting like Wednesday-ish, Wednesday, Thursday, and then oh. lasts for a couple days, and then it, it goes quiet Whoa. after that. But it's but lining up. Yeah, plenty of surf on the way. And, like, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, if the weather cooperates, it'll be, like, a, a redo of this. Which Saturday's got some weather, though, right? Tomorrow, maybe? A little bit of rain, but it doesn't seem like it's a super strong system in our area. So maybe we'll get a, um, a reprieve from, from too much wind. But there'll be really good en energy. So if you kind of got your spots, you know where to go. Um, it should be pretty good. All right, everyone's. We got plenty of stuff to surf coming up. What's yeah, that? Is that Kai Thompson? That's the Corona Kingsley, Yaden. Yaden's uh, Grom? Nichols. Corona Kingsley Nichols. I think his name is. Rad. Is, that's Super Grom, right? How, Super how old Grom. Is that kid? I think he's like twelve. Dude, he's so gnarly at lowers. Some of the combos and airs oh, and he's stuff. Just. I like how he has no sponsors. They must be waiting for the big deal, like because he could probably have twenty-five uh, stickers on his board. Have, might have missed his calling with the way oh. the industry is going. <laughs> yeah, are there big deals anymore? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, it either seems like you're getting like that you're the top guy, or there's no middle ground. Maybe they're going for some mainstream thing. I just figured if he Target. wanted, he could have like at least ten stickers on that board. But uh, he could have any sticker he wants on it. That's a, that's a fact. He's that good. Yeah, the he's gene pool's insane. pretty incredible too. The dad yeah. was a really, or the grandpa was a good surfer as well. No way, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, good shaper too. Yaden's father. Oh, rad. Yeah. Look, we're learning about Australian history here. Look at the Vaughn man just creeping. Vaughn man hey, on the show. Ew. 
<laughs> Vaughn was trying to our neighbor Weston. It's all happening. Seal. Yeah, Weston. Seal Groms. We're going to send you some couch, Whoa, Simo. Some couch surfing shirts. Yeah, yeah. Simo. Simo brought his board. Oh, yeah. Is Simo going to pack one for us? <laughs> What's he going to do with that thing? Yes. Okay, I want to ask, can you explain to me how the periods work? Because all I know is like Newport, if it's long period, it'll be dead flat and Huntington Cliffs will be like eight foot. Yeah. But for whatever reason, once the period drops, all of a sudden like blackies and all that's like like head high overhead. So this how is the periods affect it. So this is this is kind of the cliff notes on on something that Sean Collins taught me like thirty years ago. Um, the longer period swell feels the bottom. So if there's um, contours in the bottom bathymetry. It, the, the longer period's going to feel that, which it's going to bend around and it's going to kind of move stuff around a little bit. Um, oh, and then the, one? the shorter period just kind of comes straight through. Oh, like it's Aiden. It's less, less affected. But there's a shoal outside of Palos Verdes and the L.A. Harbor area, which if the period's long, it feels that and it sucks in. Like it'll totally wrap around that like sometimes you'll have like 305 degree 20 second energy hit that shoal and the san, Pu san pedro buoy will read the wrap and it'll say like 243 degrees so all that energy that's headed towards newport it, it hits the bottom and stops it huh? it just it bends it away from you guys oh, okay so like huntington cliffs could be like double overhead and the pier could awesome. be like chest high and inconsistent yeah yeah and then the further down you go the worse it gets so <laughs> sorry boys brutal. in newport and then, yeah and then but as a t as a period drops it gets it gets in right more. and then we miss all that and you get it all mm. so it's and generally the beginning of these big swell events well not generally always is really long period um like this started out 20 22 seconds now it's probably like in the 16 17 record second range which is kind of good for out here um, Got it breaking through the tide at least, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's awesome. You guys lucked out. Um, lost my train of thought there, Chatty. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but th the pattern repeats on every swell event. You start out so with long period. Long. So a lot of places will focus it, and most places won't see it at all. And then as the period drops, it opens up, and it's more widespread. Uh, yeah. Solid energy, and, and the peers are how close the storm is, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go, the there Chaz go. cast. Yeah, the the top right post we posted on. Uh, when when night was that? It was like two nights ago, but that showed up on this buoy about 400 miles. 19 out. seconds, 30 feet at 19 seconds. Yeah, Holy it's crap! A, it's a buoy 400 miles off of San Francisco, oh. and that just that energy is what nuked yesterday afternoon when everywhere just was washouts for a while yeah i couldn't believe oh my god who's this oh look at that thing air steep drop Ooh, nice highline through. pump too that was sick that guy got another uh, one earlier that's the ipd grom yeah i went up to the river mouth that's caleb um and there was left wedges that were coming from the south breaking towards river it just, was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's just big bounce off the Navy base jetty. Yeah. Like if the period's long enough, the wave's moving so fast that. Oh, that was deep. Has that enough energy to bounce all the way down there. Yeah. It was like, I was like, where's this thing coming from? All of a sudden, a big left teepee coming at you at 2nd Street. Did you get it? No. <laughs> no, no. Jared Fuller got a couple and his buddy. I, I, I had one kind of miss me. It's funny because. It was pretty kooktacular at the river mouth yesterday. And some <laughs> guy. Because kind of only surfing. I, like I whipped on this left and I thought I was in the wedge and it had moved. It shifted so much. I was kind of like the odd man out. And there was a guy wearing board shorts out there. And he whipped and I was like, go. And, um, <laughs> Got and he did action over there right now. Yeah, Simo mm -hmm. out there. Ho and Pringle Productions. And he didn't go. Oh, Tyler Gunter. Sick. Atta boy. It did. And his buddy Ooh. looks at me and goes, you never talk during someone's backswing. I was all, uh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, <what? laughs> this is river, right? <laughs> that's river. Yeah, it's a river It, it was super kooktacular.
every creature that's ever surfed since like 1969 to present Don't shows up there at the same day in someone's backswing simpo posted a, know. a pretty good one from river yesterday yeah he got he i he and i crossed paths and uh he was with the groms and he was like dude i just got a couple four bangers <laughs> i'm all hmm he's like just go get moving and i got a couple i got three he's got the daughters out there yeah son and daughter Sutter yeah. and daughter should we get uh simo in here yeah where's the dog at Thanks again. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, Chaz. Chaz. Thank Super you for stoked. the Chaz cast. The all Chaz the, cast. All the love. Appreciate Everyone it. Everyone check it out. Was it? 58 bucks a year? A dollar a week? <laughs> a buck a week. A buck a week. There you go. That's well worth it. All right, Chaz. Yeah, Chaz. No worries. Thank you. Okay, we got Ryan Sima. Local ledge. Yes, we finally got Sima on the couch. Here he is. That is local local spot we got the two lokes on the couch that was a sick one tyler just got real good one actually hey, yeah Kinda we're gonna have a replay here yeah we're let's watch replay. Let's pretty much just a stock standard perfect south side one Paddled oh, this in. is another kid that was the one before yeah. i didn't know who that's caleb crozier oh, okay he's out there again he was yeah. here last year yeah seemed to have a good rhythm last year with the ocean out here so reading it kind of is uh chaz's phone you sitting on chaz's yeah. phone there it is. Yeah, Caleb. Wait, wait. Don't miss these waves. Are we going to miss waves if we're replaying? That's what I'm always scared of. I kind of was telling Noah there was, like, when you see it close to the pier, it's kind of going to push this way, kind of be good rights. And then when you see the big peaks coming from the south side jetty, then it's going to be like the Tyler wave or the left. It's funny. I was listening to the show, and you guys were talking about oh. uh, when you asked Wellesie or Chaz, like, oh, some of the best barrels, and it's, I have a couple too. Like I ran over the berm when I was 12 and 86 and Mike Morgan was only guy out. It was probably like this, maybe a little bigger. And I just remember he dropped in on this like backdoor looking wave in this fluorescent pink and blue victory wetsuit. Remember those back in the day? The victory oh yeah, the fluorescent. Victories, what are you yeah. doing? And uh, Morgan, he was out all alone, just getting spit out of huge, like, 10-foot face barrels. So that was, like, a, a good memory. One year, Shay and Corey, when they were on tour, came maybe no 97. Way. And it's funny because I was thinking about that story, and they owned it out here. Obviously, like, CT guys in their prime. And it's, yeah. that's when Shay was telling me when Corey was surfing with Wardo down in Mex, and they were on their program, like, gnarly. Yeah. And, and Shay, Shay was admitting that, like, Corey was – maybe the best in the world at that time free surfing and they surfed a day it was kind of reminiscently looking like today maybe a little bigger and cleaner like with corners but it could it could get good in the next hour That's um, what we're don't mark my words for it but yeah i mean we're already pretty blessed with so how yeah good it shay is. and Corey owned it out here uh, it was kind of cool for me to see like really good surfers like at the upper level uh, like goofy foots too surfing the left because normally it's like big right yeah, yeah everybody's getting the big stand up right like wearing chaz chad like or whoever you know and then here's, Ty here's tyler's replay that was a really good one he's, okay, a, here's tyler. he's a good barrel rider a lot of newport experience obviously kind of blur your eyes Ooh. it looks like a heavy day at five four right but yeah. look at there just that go. little extra thickness out here at seal Dude, that's a cylinder snob no, I, right there i know so what he's on a little here. thicky board i don't know i mean he could just be oh. on a normal shorty like hopefully not your good one that you're in like <laughs> yeah i know don't board, ride your like, good board that thing on ice i'm shocked we haven't even seen one broken board am i tripping i haven't seen one but. i saw mitchy salazar yeah, boys. Wellza, wellsy and simo are legends oh man. yeah Surf ready legend, fitness so. scott ferguson or wait is that scott no that's oh, not little scott. ryan warms the heart jennifer shulan is that yeah that's the like the, what is it lickson or we we did you see? I don't know if you're watching. We had the clips when you're Grom at Harbor. Okay, Surfboards. yeah, that was this movie called Beneath the Shine. Uh, it was about how to how how they make surfboards behind Harbor. So my dad was like the customer, and I was the, or me and my dad. Uh -huh. We went in and all of that. It's a cool movie. <clears throat> Rich is explaining. Oh, this is what I do in the shaping bay, and then let's go back and watch them like drape fiberglass over the board, and then bring in the hot cutter, and they went exactly through the level of, of how to make a surfboard and like sarge and wellesley were talking about that it was pretty cool growing up there and having all those characters in the back like all the hot coders and the sanders and it it's kind of cool for me because my dad worked at harbor and hot coated and sanded in the late 60s and no way I yeah so that. it came full circle for me too which was really cool um 
but yeah, like Tom Goff, you saw him with the big cut, had that huge slab. He was a classic character. He would wear dolphin shorts, no shirt. He had hair all over his body, and he would <laughs> wear boots, like uh, fishing rain, yeah, boots. Yeah, rain boots. But, Look at yeah, rain all boots. you guys have your rain boots. Yeah, like fishing boots in the sand but and they were you know glass to the top right because all the draping glass so they were like hard oh, as yeah, rocks yeah, yeah. and he would walk around and he walked on his tippy toes just some random thing and he was like 6'3 <laughs> and he was a classic super positive character and so just growing up with all these people like John Grenier and you talked about Robert Housen who now owns the surfboard so we would go there when we were groms and just hang they'd have the old surfing magazine and you wrote like in big sharpie shop copy and that stayed on the corner of the counter and like if you were gnarly enough like us that were on the team we could like read it but like it was oh, funny yeah, back yeah. in the day like <laughs> if you were a regular you wouldn't touch the shop copy mag like you almost had to ask the guys working behind the counter like hey can i look at the shop copy <laughs> you know like God, remember no. that oh like, no all you the it was, laws. and then it was, all the it was nothing but beatings. And then the TV going down. and then the TV in the corner had like these old 1983 ASP World Tour events and I remember there was one it was Potter's first final at the Durban Classic at 15 surfed against MR. Potter was on a thruster, MR still on 20s 83. And so this is the type of things that like we grew up, I was 12, 13, 14 and watching all Danky Aloha at Burley and the event there, Curran versus Elko in the one, like that might have been a little later, but but watching those like a ASP uh, pro event, like these little VHS tapes, they were like one hour uh -huh. long. It was sick. Yeah. And so like growing up with that and having Rich teach us everything and then the and lineage event, is really cool. That like, event must have happened like nine months before you get the VHS oh, video always, or something. Oh, always. And just like <laughs> the magazines, you'd you'd get the results like way later, oh, yeah. you know? Oh, no. Harbor, uh, what I was saying earlier, dog, is it was our church. Like we, yeah. You, yeah, if there was that, no was surf, cool. you hung out there. If there was surf, you'd go there after your surf. I mean, if somebody happened to see you get a good one and actually give you props in front of everyone else, you were flying. But, I mean, those were hard to come by back then because it was – just beat you down. Make so it, Simo's make you stronger. nickname is the dog here? The dog. Well, it was I was Rye Pup, and then I got a little older, and the Newport guys <laughs> went Quicksilver, and then and then I became the dog, like, at 16, 17. Yeah, I was just, like, an aggressive Grom, and actually, like, I have roots with Quickie, Newport. I used to go to 5-4 every Tuesday for the Quickie workouts. It was so that growing up with, like, Nikolai, David Giddings, Mark Goldsmith, I mean, that whole crew. Yeah. And we were, like, up, I was kind of a part of that getting sponsored by Quicksilver. It's a cool story. Rich drove me down to Quicksilver, sat me down with Danny Kwok. And Rich said, Harbor. Yeah, you need to sponsor this kid. Like, so that's, like, my story with Quick in the beginning. It was really cool. And then, like, Danny Kwok was my team manager and then after that it was like todd miller so yeah i have a lot of history with newport going back and and kind of learned a lot from those guys oh, Blair a good one. What? this guy's always Backside on good ones dog. Huh? him and the other guy yeah he's got a knack he here, for the finding other, them what's the one guy's name that brad is he here i like oh he, these guys. he was here earlier okay. we we got it we got oh, one of brad early all of this thing legend no. vince bollinger oh, okay oh vince nolan's Rips. out there too yeah, I'm yeah sure he's not. always out here Surprised no one hasn't picked off the one. I think Vince Bollinger is probably one of the best underground surfers. Ten dollars Seal world. Beach board riders. Well, don't know. Love seeing Wellesley and Simo on the beach. What does that mean? Ten dollars. Ten bucks. He gave us ten bucks. Oh, oh no donations. Way. Oh shit. Yeah. I think we got to give that to the the Seal Beach board riders. <laughs> no, you guys That's keep it. Cool. See how close Simo had to got to do the same to read the name. <laughs> That's pure <laughs> it's, surf it's clips. Small. <laughs> Need bifocals. Well, I, I can't we're read all wearing lettering Kanan. far now. I'm 49. I'm almost 50. <laughs> Dude, I'm you gotta old. go. You gotta go prescription like me. No, I'm. I fight that. Thought you would be at the carnage at it Lower Jay today, but this is much better. I was there yesterday. Better. Don't worry about it. It was good, but it wasn't that good. I was, I missed it. It was pretty good, but it it's weird how when Newport gets crowded, it it you when you look when there's no waves and it's so close to the beach and there's a million people like right there that's <laughs> yeah. how it was yesterday from blackie i was there oh, God. from blackies to 28th it yeah. seemed like 28th had a little bit easier maybe if if you were on the peak to get waves because it was pretty heavy here's a little inside under left you oh. don't see much of these that's why yeah you <laughs> you just have to like angle 
he kind of went a little too straight on that one, I think, off the bottom. The thing just bottomed out. You'll get pounded out here. I've blown my, like, shoulder, my scapula getting pounded sideways. Like, when you fall like that, straight uh, yeah. into dry yeah. sand. Oh, yeah. I, broke, I, broke my, I almost broke my neck out here. I, or I had a scare. Like, I hit my head and, like, yeah, yeah, I was just yeah. like, oh, my God, well, am I okay? And then, like. I mean, it's super shallow. Is this Dom Keys from earlier? I think it's Blair. Blair, that last one? Oh, yeah. Dude, you got the chip in. These are the ones where I kind of wish I was a goofy foot. And that's what I was saying. Like, the lefts are hard for a regular foot because of the angle. You have to kind of I, I, – it's hard to explain. They kind of – they come down the beach sideways. Oh, oh there was so a heavy one. It. Watch oh, out and board the board. No worries. Love that it. thing got flinged out of the way. Kinda. Actually, what do you what do you think? No leash to help not breaking your board. Maybe? You know what? I used to go no leash forever, and then I broke a uh, nose because it flew up the beach upside and then it down pokes into the sand. So then I went I went leash, and never have broken a board with the leash. So <laughs> we were debating like having the leash. Does it hold the board more closer to the impact zone, or uh, you know, no leash? It goes away, but then you fight the like it pokes in the sand and you break your nose. So yeah. I guess or even a fin if it's it's coming a dice up, roll anyway. You slice it much. out here. Well, that's a perfect segue into our uh, kook meter thing today. Okay. Oh, the What's kook this? meter. The oh. kook meter. So you guys tell us if this is kooky or core. Okay. We'll get your guys' opinion. I like this. We don't take it too seriously, but some people do. What is it? Oh, dude, I'm so serious. <laughs> we're Always. all, um, and it's presented by Kook of the Day. Follow them on Kook like of the Day, Instagram. Have we're fun all with kooks it. in our own way. Totally. Thank you, Kook of the Day, for sponsoring the show. Weddies, and ordering support. your coffee, no worries. Yeah. Okay. Kook. <clears throat> longboard, this is big. Uh, oh, okay. Leashes on a longboard. Wow. Is that kooky or core? Um... All these come with a caveat. I feel like, um, like the, I it mean, all totally. depends it's a, the situation. Okay. It's a that's that's a double-edged sword question, <laughs> but I would say if you're riding anything in a traditional sense, no leash, right? But like this legend here on the nose, he's in the middle of a comp. I mean, if you paddle out in a heat with no leash, that's like starting the Indy 500 on half a gas tank. Right, you lose your board, you losing minutes the going to the over. sand. So I mean, it's it's a double-edged sword. But I would say if if anything in the traditional sense, no leash all day long. If you're on some high perf thing, then that's where you sit. So the leash would probably make more sense. Yeah, I almost think it's like at least for the long board, because eventually, like with the leash, you can't do the cross stepping and and yeah. like turn around. It messes you up. So it on some level, it's not functional, but then I guess it's a safety issue at some places. Well, yeah, if you're in a crowded lineup and you're board. just losing a 9- to 10-foot board across all of the kids in the shore, then you're going to get beat down or something. Or yeah. yeah, well, Donkey does, Donkey does Donkey that on just every... Donkey ditched his <laughs> On every top. board transfer, there's yeah, an 8-foot foamy But hopefully no around. one's inside you mm -hmm. here at Southside. I'd say no leash for, yeah, most of the go, and then or, or if you're not good enough to control your surfboard, then you might need to wear one. That's what I was saying. Like, I guess, like, Joel... Joel Joel Dude. Tudor could not wear a leash at Malibu because he's probably not going to fall. But if you're just if you're just kind of starting out and, and I learning, announced then that, you, I you announced might, that CT wanna... lowers two years ago at Malibu. I did the beach, and everyone in the draw didn't wear a leash. Wow. That, that was the but there's of, no people out there, it's, right? Yeah, and it was shoulder-high, perfect cove Malibu, so they pretty much aren't falling. And if yeah. they are, they actually they are really good at like grabbing the board before it gets away from them, even yeah. in a wipeout. So the pros aren't wearing them in, in most cases, but I think the public should for the safety of everyone else. So, yeah, I guess it's a it's double a answer, but one. we yeah. did our best. What does the public think? If, yeah, if you rip. See, yeah, rip, so everybody's on suck. the same page. Yeah, oh, here's a good one. If you rip, if you suck. Oh, hey, safety. And it's funny. I was thinking about, like, just yeah. the history of Southside. We used to kind of battle the bodyboarders in the 80s and 90s. It was kind of like they had the click, and it was a bunch of the LB guys, and then we were, like, like this, the surfer oh, guys. And thing. there was a full-on sick, sick. Oh, oh, wow. really good wave. Was that wearing? That's wearing. Oh. Yeah, the king. Oh. He's here. You knew he was going to find a good there one. There he is. <laughs> we got wearing him. Glad we got him. We'll so there used to be break. some tussling in the water between the bodyboard crew and the and the surfers, but now we're all kind of like, we knew them, we always were friends with them, but but now everybody's like bros. It's it's cool. Yeah. It's like it's not as weird just because of the way society is where it 
like Sarge was saying, it, it kind of was like our Oxnard back in the day. There was a little bit of localism and only certain people got good waves. Like, but obviously that you, the way society is now, Here's that's out the window. Everybody's, it's just a free for all, which is fine. Okay. Chris Waring, this guy's gotten some of the best ones ever out here. Yeah, I would agree. Chad's bowl. This is Chad Wells' zone, 11th street. Yeah, it's this like the 10th, 10, 10, 11. Yeah, 10th 10, 10 Street Bowl. Dude, he's oh, deep. Watch how so tight That he little gets. extra bowl there, and he knows how to hug kind of perfect. Yeah, he got tight perfect. right there. Okay, so growing up here, for me, this helped me, like, when I went to Hawaii for the QSs and all that and did the, the winter because having waves like this kind of gives you a little bit of a head start on heavy slabbing waves. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. It's definitely a slab. Yeah. Ooh, got a pump. He pumped, that and they got tight. One. Spit Told out. Told you it was going to get better. <laughs> yeah, eleventh to the piers. Like the, my zone. this nine thirty to eleven thirty windows could get that, really good today. The way the hoping. size is, yeah, it's all about the wind oh. too, though. Right. If it stays glassy, light offshore, it's, it's going to be spitting barrels. If the onshore hits, it's it's over pretty much. Like the wind affects it here. totally. Everything affects it here. Wind, <laughs> tide, you name it. It's. I don't know. That's why it's hard to get. Oh, watch more. out! Exactly. Here comes the cops. Okay, the what? Guards. Whoa, Wero from the. F oh, oh no, no who's different this? one. Is oh, is that Nolan? Nolan? He's over there with Wero. All the boys are down the beach. Yeah, because they know this thing happens. Look at that farm. Is that Nolan? Yeah. Looks like it. Really? Oh, the yeah. hair, yeah. The He's got hair. the long hair now. Yeah, Good. I agree with that call. You guys heard you guys talking about the it's really cool, all the Americans qualifying for the tour this year, all those the guys, and then we have Alyssa and Sawyer on the women's side, so pretty much one of the best years ever for American surfing. Like Big time. it's usually like the Aussies get six men out of ten, yeah. you know. Like so, finally this is our year, and, um, and hopefully they can do something. Sorry. But yeah, you're right. Nolan was right there. He needed one more result last year I in the know. Challenger. He was kind of he missed two, and then he got the third or the fifth in Durban, right? So because yeah. oh, he, he didn't even get into the first. He had couple, some right? sneaky big results, and then some like low Gunter throw going away. Oh my gosh, this is a heavy one. Airdrop. Sneaks under. It's hard to we'll, tell if we'll they're in the barrel from here. Typical, we'll get back. like, can't get under the lip kind of south side wave. we got to get back to the kook meter. We'll get back to it in a second after the set. Okay, after the set. We'll go. Pull still we'll, up, We'll though, see so what the public coming. thought. I bet they think the same. Yeah. No leash, probably, on the majority. Oh, we'll get back to it now. Here's a few more comments. Yeah, I guess if you're good enough to where it messes you up, you can probably handle it Well, that's it the thing. Good. If you're cross-stepping and going old school. Definitely kook. We're talking about longboarders, right? This guy says it's kooky to have a leash. Yeah. If I get hit by a longboarder that's getting that's Sweat. getting swept away in the white water, then the board owner is a kook. I mean, pretty much. And just that goes an back to the, the, the guy's sense. first comment. Until you get like, hit in the melon from a loose retro ten footer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> you're well, taking you're a risk. Done, pretty yeah. much. Well, no, and, and so here's the double edged sword again. Like at River, right? Yeah. Seal River during surf camp summertime. There's guys out there on logs not wearing leashes, and like the, some of the little kids don't know how to get out of the way. Yeah, so you that's know what I mean? just a little bit of, like, low lack of awareness. And you might lose your board and run into the groms on the inside, yeah, but, yeah. Maybe it's surfing oh, in the okay. crowd. You, you want the leash. Oh, oh Layden. Or maybe, Pump, maybe you don't want the leash, but for safety, for everyone else. That's, I mean, that's a typical yeah. south side wave right there. Just, like, you think you're good, and then it just pinches. Oh, this, oh, this is heavy. This is, like, oh. I've been waiting an hour. I haven't got a wave. I'm just going anyway. <laughs> We've all been there. Are you guys want the results? Yeah. Yes, yeah, give us the results. Kooky or core to wear a leash on a longboard. What does the internet's got to say? I think they're going to say it's kooky. Way. <laughs> Beat it, Kooks. 61% of the vote. 61 versus 40. Who's oh, this? Here's a little inside double up. Thick one. Folded. This is a good one. Oh, oh outside poke. edge catch. So you are the, what's your title, U.S. team captain? I'm the captain? U.S. Uh, head coach of the junior national team. Head coach for of USA junior surfing. national. Yeah. Vince Bollinger. Ooh. Yeah, it's been fun. Oh, oh he's going to make it. Came oh, out. That was a deep one. Underground guy. He just never give up on that one. Yeah, yeah. we just, we got uh, Asher uh, is my assistant coach. Asher Nolan, he's gnarly. Uh -huh. He's on the East Coast, so we work together. He, I, I just didn't really want to go to this ISA, and it's 15 days. I've done 10. Oh you know God. what I mean? It's gnarly. Days? Whoa. And, you know, I, I thought, Asher, you know, step up, run the program. He, he stepped up, and we actually got Courtney Conalog to go as, as, oh, a, that's as awesome. a co coach with Asher, and we She's won probably silver a really medal. Good coach. That's she sick. was. Yeah. We did a two day ISA camp at Huntington like a week before the team went. 
Courtney came down. We were just down the beach south side, kind of going over some of the things that they were going to face and some of the drills and some of the pressure situations. Courtney had some really good drills. She had she's so positive, you know, Courtney. If you've ever, if, if you've ever talked to her, she's just really upbeat. Oh, Tyler, digging. oh, here we go. We'll get back to the story time. Oh, oh no, don't hurt yourself. No hands, but you can see it. why oh. he was going. Uh, I might have to go swim and shoot some fish. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. I guys know. are getting kicked. Simo brought his board. Are you going to go out, Simo? I, I mean, this is kind of one of those days where the old dog might have to just scratch one out. <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> that would be my I dream. I don't surf when it's like Simo. heavy. I don't want to get hurt. Dude, I, I, like I haven't to fish surfed. and yeah. golf too much. $10. Love the show. Keep up the broadcast. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Appreciate it. Sick. Wow. People are just throwing Everybody money at us. Everybody loves the couch surfing show. When's the next one? I'm sure a couple people don't. Subscribe, like. Push that thing out. When's the next one? We never know until a couple of days before. How about how about Best. January nineteenth du during a USA team training? Oh, could we do that? We yeah, if we get the I mean, invite. It's my say, I guess. The best way to support the show, get our merch. Thank you guys. All the money goes straight back into investing and then we in the can show. Get the Roms on here one by one, like and, and get them on in front of the camera. I'd be teaching so them down for talk, that. Because yeah. about one in four knows how to talk in front some of the camera. Media, I'll be some media, <laughs> some media. They're learning training. though. I mean, yeah. they're not just being real. They're kids. Uh, Let them like classic. the every, like that's uh, the thing with I. You know, this is what I'm having a hard time with nowadays. It's it's like every it's gotten younger everyone's gotten earlier but at, at some point they're still kids and we still gotta like put them in their place like we don't let the <laughs> yeah. kids dictate where it, it's kind of gnarly but in the surf world but <laughs> we're trying to change that and slow it back down right like because everyone's in a rush but the people that were in a rush that made the tour at 16 said oh i need to wait a year because i'm too young yeah. so why are we in a rush yeah. So I always say win against your peers at your level. If yeah. you can't win at your level, why are you moving up? So anyway, yeah, exactly. we could talk about That's that all point. day long, but we're here at Southside. It's going to get good. That would be think. an insane we'll, episode with the, a, the U.S. amateur media team. Training well, the, I think the tide's like just Yeah, done there thing, it is. Right? Oh, he brushed oh, it up. Busted he got the good one, though. Yeah, we're on the other side of the tide now, so it's going it, to... It could start turning hey, let's on. Hey, yeah. let's give Doc Lausch some love right now. There we prescriptions go. Give him love. Because he's been making Tyler's board since he was... I think he popped out of the womb. He had a, a, a 2.8-foot board made. Oh, look <laughs> at this thing. He was surfing 5 Left foot one. Is that Vince again? Bowler, no. Yeah. No? Vince was paddling for it, but okay. then that guy went. Who's that? Goofy foot guy. Oh, that was know. a sick one. Was that Davin, maybe? Maybe. I think it was a wide one. One of our Seal Beach. Maybe. 20 Not to sure. 29s, I think, now, Davin. Yeah. So these kids, it, time flies. I think they're 15 to 19. Maybe <laughs> they might be in the 20s Well, no, now. it's crazy, Doug. We were talking about, yeah. like, the, the, the genesis of the board riders in 2016. That. Like, those kids started in our program, like, as 14 It's really cool. I mean, you, know? you can't say enough good about the board riders. You're yeah, in it. No, Newport, of course. You're dropping big scores. Yeah, everyone loves that it's, thing. It's Whoa. kind of brought the community back together. Like, it was like that when I was a Grom. Like, the old, the elders, Mike Morgan, Brad and Dell, who runs Foamy Z, they're all from Seal Beach, so it's kind of cool. What? Another board in the car. Looks, <laughs> looks like he's um, running for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, where are the couch serving t-shirts? We just we just plugged it like 20 times. I know. We you forgot to bring them. Yeah, we're going to give you guys some. <laughs> That's that QR so, code. Uh, of course we forgot to bring them. We've got everything today. For the guests. You're lucky we have a feed up. We, we're yeah, so anyway, back in the 80s, the community was a little more like the elders took a serve. I used to go to Oceanside Harbor and Brad's bus all the time, and it was pumping with Mike Morgan, Brad, and Adele. They were way older, and I was just a grom. My can't even believe my parents let me go with these guys, but, and then now that's like you know the Groms now, there was that window where they didn't know us, the elders that that if there was a twenty year age gap, they didn't know what we were doing, mm -hmm. and we're involved in the industry and making things happen, and, and and now that has like come back together where they now know who Chaz and Chad and Stamps and Simo or whatever, where there was kind of that space where. There was that disconnect, and now I think all of the communities, not just Seal Beach, but every single community, I really see it in, like, Dana Point. I see it with you guys. Huntington's huge. They have, like, their – you see it on Instagram. <laughs> they're huge parties. Yeah. There's, like, 150 people. So you got to love it. And we've oh, been seeing that so since fun. we were Groms. Oh, board riders in Australia. And then Gurr had the Blair game. Conklin. Oh, Pig dog oh, that slides was in. Oh, is he going to be able to hold come the out? thing? Oh, no. The bodyboard couldn't hold the fins. But it. remember, Gurr had the game, so that was kind of like a early genesis of like American board riders. That was sick. Yeah, yeah, no, to uh, a degree, right? Yeah, I mean, it was. It was pretty similar. Counties. It was Santa Cruz, Ventura, 
uh, Orange County versus San Diego, 12 man teams. You served like in a tag team format. So kind of, but so that's cool. Gur is always on the cutting edge. He heard he's moving back to Cali. So what? kind of psyched. Yeah. Wave key. Wave they they key. talk about farm, a, farm world. him a lot like on the QS because he's got all his riders and stuff. That's cool. I love the board riders because it brings out like all the legends are oh. competing. You get like yeah. Archie and Tom Jeff Kerr Booth. and all these guys in the contest. Yeah, and then you get the guys that don't want to come out randomly like show up, right? Like you would never see Archie in a jersey ever again yeah. if, if that never happened again. Totally. Even Tom maybe. Pat you know? O'Connell, Vinny De La Pena, yeah. Dino. Dana, Dino and Dino. Dino. Taylor Chris Knox. Chris Billy. I mean, I love Chris Billy. Those barrels he used to get at Gravels. Yeah. Okay, T Knox got a 10 at lower. This guy's on a semi gun fun board but that's not really working out here yeah those guys there's always going to be that guy yeah <laughs> well oh, it's the novelty carnage. of paddling out at seal i kind of was thinking that too like do i just paddle out even if i go straight on a wave i paddled out like and subscribe yep that pushes it out to more people yeah, if you guys a, like we have like 800 people in here watching it's crazy really oh, holy yeah. crap <laughs> yeah, but game not game enough likes honestly oh. that's, that's game on for the couch yeah, hey this people. thing over here is gonna get good we call this the ryan turner bowl over the here turner bowl yeah because him and tippy would surf way over by dolphin and just be getting slabs it's a heavier wave it, it's more on it the beach it's right on the sand but yeah, yeah you, you'll see some over there not we're looking I don't at the think I'm ever right paddling out here again after I. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I heard you say that. <laughs> I keep wanting to turn around. No, like, I know. I, my eyes are on the beach like all day as a surf coach and like yeah. right announcing surf contests. No, I'm and now there. we're like, yeah, the opposite way. Because you, you guys know, because if we start Ew. going down the beach, like you know, you're supposed to announce. Jay and Carla. Just what's on the. Yeah. On the what screen. up, fam? It's getting warm. Yeah, the I wanted to get down there and watch this, but I'm sick sweaters. at home. Thank you so much for giving us this coverage today. Okay. Br thanks, Bryce. Thanks for watching. Well, it is, you know, a novelty wave. You, you had to get the hall pass from the crew. I know. Thank you guys <laughs> so much. At no work, worries. missing the swell, so at least I get to watch it. So thanks. Stoked. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't mean, think you could show up with a setup without the Lokes back in Pretty exciting, it. though, right? The swell was hyped. It was big yesterday. All those photos, I don't know if you saw, but... Oh all the God, all the water in Santa waves. Cruz, and I saw some videos from, uh, like, uh, Mike Jones, as high as I am, up in Morro Bay, and Danny Hart posted some stuff. Cayucas Pier is like, dude, a thousand foot. Yeah, was, and like waves were scratching the bottom of Huntington Pier and stuff. And oh I, yeah, Ventura someone had a Pier. photo where, clips? where yeah. the, the Huntington Pier, the waves are breaking like yards so the far the past the pier. Oh no way! I heard Timmy Turner paddled out, tried to get over to box cars. I didn't know the story, but we'll we'll start some rumors. Did he get a well? No. Did you hear the well, story? What was the Colby Turner story? Yeah, it Maybe. said the board got he lost leash he broke, paddled got out stuck at on the jetty. Uh, I think out here. Oh, how to swim in? Yeah, well, Southside was going off right here. The big cloud break left. Yeah, it's such a fun wave. Bring a seven oh seven two. You're like kind of like sunset in a mirror. It's sick. Oh, here yeah. we go. We saw an insane photo. It looked gnarly. No, no that that was es <laughs> that was Esther. Yeah, that's the oil. Oh, 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 the other, the left kind of rolling bomb. Yeah. Oh, real men would call out sick to get a piece <laughs> of this swell. <laughs> People work. <laughs> yeah, why are we not, not It didn't look like it yesterday. It didn't look like it yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, anytime Newport. there's waves in Cali, nobody works. Okay, we got a good set coming, boys and girls. Everybody out there watching. I feel like COVID brought on a lot of people and the crowds never left. Oh, lost. God, this one's thick one straight out. No, where are you at? Oh, God, foam guy. <laughs> get, get, set that video guy straight, Simo. Right here, right here. The oh, Blair. Told Again. Sick. Styling. Oh, Whoa. Oh, that that wave was of the day. sick. Dude, he's that not, was kind not of the best super one deep, seen. but thick. Thick and styled he's out. He's gotten probably the most. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I told you. He's a, he's a magnet. Let's pull the plug on him, call him in. <laughs> yeah. right, get him out of there. Get him on our couch show. He's used them all up. Sorry, <laughs> you're done. No, I guess when you got the rabbit foot, run with it. That guy on the soft can. top should not be out there. Put I think he's talking the, about the, big, the <laughs> guy with the big Oh, here we oh, go. Bodyboard spitter. guy. That was sick. Bodyboarder. I saw the number one ranked bodyboarder guy come in earlier. Is that what? real? What's his name? Yeah, they got McDaniels. Oh, What's Tanner McDaniels. Tanner McDaniels. Okay. He's, yeah, he was, he was, no, hey, Mike Stewart used to come here all the one, time. He's number one ranked. Mike Stewart used to come here all the time. On I pumping bet. days, he would show up. You'd be like, whoa, Mike Stewart's here. He just knew. What about Mike Morgan? I always hear that name. What's, yeah. Oh, he's, he's the legend here, right? Well, he was. Yeah, he, he passed. passed away. Yeah. And, yeah. 
Okay, I mean, wait, wait. Let's watch this. Like, we'll talk about. Yeah. Oh my God. God. This is a heavy wave right here. Proper. Dude, that was a slab. He he read it right. He didn't get too greedy, right? Like yeah. mess it up. It's so funny. I wonder. What is that thing? Like a five four? I don't even know. Twin fin too. I think no, you have to have I think talent, it's a quad. Actually, like obviously the guy's got talent. Mental but. one, Blair Doggy. That was sick. Well, he's got tons of talent because. Look at this thing. Left or right? Take your pick. See how the left, it's pushy? It, like it, it, it pushes, it, and it's a bit more almondy. Mm -hmm. The right, oh, oh, here we go. Vince, kick out. Was that Vince? I think so. He's actually a really good barrel rider, Vince Bollinger. For yeah, sure. The right comes against it on the yeah. wedge and just goes. You get that little boop. kink, that low road that kind of keeps it open. It just slabs. Oh, there's Brad Nadell right there. Yeah. Foamy Z. Remember Brad, I told Brad you? took me to Uppers for the first time. The guy used to take me to Oceanside no, Harbor in the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all the boys are down here, huh? Oh, yeah. When it starts it's like, turning it's on. Like, it's like pipe, kind of. Like, you can just stand here and watch Southside, too, and it's exciting. Yeah. Like, just you can beach spectate the wave because it's so heavy. There's wipeouts. There's good barrels. I don't know. It's totally. It's entertaining. Super entertaining. Yeah. Brad, Brad took me to Uppers for the first time. Sick. And I was talking about this yesterday. It was like, my kids have surfed so many spots already. And for me as a Grom, it took me so long just to make it to Huntington. Oh, yeah. And then going beyond Huntington all the way to Trestles, I was like, what is this place? I actually still remember the first time I, like, walked to Lowers. Because it's like, until you go there, you don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. that don't know. could be a board but, breaker. And, and the bummer is going back to Seal in the sand is like, now, because Northside's kind of starting to break again okay. after they helped it but i did see some second base wedges triangling yeah. down on the camera so but yeah. for us growing up we got to do it every day and get oh, our yeah. reps in and now it's yep. like kids got to jump in the car and and go south so that's look at us we didn't plan this but we got <laughs> you guys are fly jackets you guys on. are matching thanks I didn't to riley that. and well, then uh, me and you got the canons it's like uh, match, no match. so it well. oh, we all three have canon <laughs> no i mean free fly is our new board riders yep. uh, apparel sponsor okay so thanks really to I was going to say is that a Seal Beach board riders kit. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> thanks, got Mike the, Riley. He's new, the new sales guy over there. Mikey Riley, he's a guy I looked up to. As a there kid. he is, Foamy Z. Yeah, if Brad. you guys need any of your uh, ding repair, fiberglass, hit up Foamy Z. Shape lessons. Foamy Z. Yeah, Brad. Mikey Riley was like a couple divisions above me in the NSA. I, he oh, just, 92 high school he champion gnarly. at nationals. Yeah. He went on the tour, had some results on the QS. Then he went to college, decided, you know, I want to have a family and go the work route. Uh -huh. Still rips. He's got four beautiful kids, a beautiful wife working and has a house here in Seal. So, yeah, he's killing it. Yeah. Sick form, style. I think he's somewhere playing golf with his son. Yeah, his son's oh, killing it. Tyler Strandland. Oh, Stanaland? Oh. Yeah, Tyler, Tyler Stanland. Stanland. That was sick. Stan how do you pronounce Stanaland. it? Stanaland. No D, Stanaland. Stanaland. S T A N A and then land. They're yeah, going to get some. Oh, Martin. He rips. Get some he's, on the, he's on the, uh, the catch surf thing program yeah. with Kalani, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, well, it's. He can two brads. Turner wave. This thing almost cornering and makeable, but needs a little less, fun, less tide. Looks like Gunter's going back out. Okay, good. So Mike Morgan, I hear that okay, name so all Mike the time Morgan, here. Okay, so Mike Morgan, Seal Beach, just grew up here, Long Beach, Seal Beach, a part of the Harbor crew, surfed on the NSSA national team. He was one of the main announcers with Rock and Fig through the 80s and 90s. Surfed Longboard Pro in the Bud Tour. I actually started announcing because of him. He's like, hey, we did the lowers, like, QS together back in the day. He kind of taught me how to do it. And then, unfortunately, he passed. Um 10 years ago now, maybe a little more. But, um, yeah, he was an icon of our Seal Beach community. Yeah, sick. Oh, Wasn't there an invitational contest out here for we a little while? The, did you uh, so we had them, with Sarge? We, yeah, so Chad we had them. Sarge. We didn't um, talk about it, but we had the Morgan Wave of the Day. We ran it a couple years, and it was basically like an invite. And invite. Uh, and we just come out and um, take over for a little bit we maybe they paid an entry and then the winner took some money yeah, but yeah. yeah so one day just had some judges and brought in like pt mike downey some legends that could f fairly call it because you know maybe some of us would have some biases <laughs> to one of the guys or not or whatever being honest but yeah it was sick i think billy hopkins won one year with That's a big sad. slab who else won chad um i don't billy hopkins won the oh, one no, year. oh no mcgeary uh kyle oh, mcgeary mm-hmm 
or Billy didn't win? Did he get second that year? Is that why you did? It yeah, was like, no. it could have been either yeah. other. I don't know. Billy remember. got the one where he got super shagged and then did like a double flip. Okay. But that out, wasn't right? during the morning. That wasn't no, during that the morning. That was just that just, viral video. That yeah. went viral, but. We love um, Billy the Kid, dude. He's a six yeah. shooter. I seen he's, he's he with Burger somewhere too. right now. Oh, he's with Burger? Yeah, Burger's in town. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was hoping they would just roll up. Ke- that'd be Kelly's funny. watching. Is he? Oh, yeah, Florida. Yes, Kelly Slater's watching. Yeah, How sick Kelly. is that? He's probably well, going golf. Insane. I told him today was going to be going nuts, but it's probably not quite as good as what the is day it, he got seven? last year. We'll call it like a six How do you, and a half how do you think that board's going to go out there? That guy might, gave us a bunch of Pringles. So might be all right. <laughs> no, just Cody Watt, and you watch. He'll get piped on that He's going to get piped thing. on that thing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's super, super good on that thing. Watch, he's gonna chip get in, huh? Out the yeah, back. He's, he's one of the the better. He knows what kids he's doing. Around. We got lines coming in out of this. Okay, now I'm nervous because I know Kelly like, Slater's watching. Oh. Get him on the couch show. I like oh. listening to him when he puts the headset on. That would be like, my the dream. Events. That would be my dream. He's commented on the couple of Instagram posts because, of course, he always comes up. Where's Tyler? Where's Nolan? Where's Ware? Nolan's way down the. Yeah, the, it's down all towards the Blair the Conklin I think show. Who's this? Oh, that was a good me vision. bust. They're uh, oh they're, Bradley. Those guys are like on the Eleventh Street Bowl. <laughs> yeah, they're no, like, keep so, an eye down there, Noah. Yeah, that guy so we had a funny viral. Kind of don't have happen. the best angle on it from yeah. here. He had a funny. Oh, when he burned the guy and the guy shot the board at him. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I just I'm a comment section guy. Just go to the comments <laughs> these days. <laughs> Who, Simos in even, there? No, I just read stuff. Oh, yeah. I just like <laughs> reading what the public likes to say or whatever. You should see some of the DMs I get since we started this show. Like the negative ones. <laughs> you guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Everybody's got some opinion or something. Some guys are just like, you're a fucking kook. It's like, cool. Okay. <laughs> but aren't we all in our own little yeah. way? Do you have a Roxy sticker on the back of your Forerunner? Those boots are sick. See, that's what You're I'm talking about. They think, by they the think, Uggs? Yeah, because girl, they, uh, most people think dude, Uggs are for girls. We all wore Uggs when we were grown. That's what I said. These things I, are made if for If someone got me a surfers. pair of Uggs, I'd still probably wear them. Who cares? 90s surf They're so functional. They probably don't look the best, but dude, they're all that warm That guy cozy. doesn't wear Uggs then. So it's just, there we go. That's exactly what we're talking about. That's vicious. To each yeah. his own. Oh, oh Omar's, Omar's screening. He's, he's screening all the bad ones. So okay, he likes good. to throw. He likes uh, to throw a bad one at me every now and then. You know. Oh, know. it's like Keep how's this? Oh, how's that little that girl? Oh, Stanaland and a sick Stanaland. one. Dude, oh, the, and he's gonna do the kick. I don't flip. know. Maybe a catch uh, surf is the board you need out here because these Superman. guys are getting the good ones. So Dude, where's I Kalani? If he's around, oh, Kalani right. should be right. Right. Blair. Here's the Turner wave. Blair going left. Oh, too much breathing <laughs> on that one. Strandalan <laughs> gets barreled. Yeah, where's Kalani? He must be roaming the coast somewhere. Oh, right's off the point, maybe. It was. I heard it was kind of walled, though. I saw he like pal out at Blacks or something okay. yesterday and lost his board. Probably huge saying. down there, huh? Must have been giant. Ew. dude. Oh, hey, what's up, Rory? He's my neighbor. <laughs> Wellsy, what are you doing? Doing business? You talking to Slater? No, DM or texting <laughs> my buddy. There we go. This is oh, wave out wave. the back though. Switching back. Oh, sh- see if we're doing replay. Oh my oh, heavy one. That was, that was sick. Nuts. Oh, oh, oh my oh. body surf out of it. Who was it? That uh, was a crazy was that draw. Crozier? No. Uh, <laughs> he's in amazement. <laughs> no, that's Nile Cone, right? Nile Smith. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's my another local local kid. That All was, right. that was crazy Jason that he Cone's got under son. the lid. Okay. All right. Jason Cohn from Surfside. Yeah. Jason Cohn's son right wow. there. Wow. High fives, but that was he fell. Sick. That was nuts that well, he no, made so it check under it the out. lid. Let's see. Niley came out here yesterday before the tide early okay. and jagged a nuts one. Okay. There so he's go. feeling good. He's and confident. I I walked out and missed it. That's a nuts one right Dreadbot. there. Dreadbot. Yeah. Andrew was running out. I'm all, dude, you might want to wait. You're going to break your collarbone out here. And he's all, no, no, no. Niley just got a sick one. So I'm like, all right. So I like hung out and watched, and Niley tried to just get up and under a meaty one. Got pitch, board done. Yeah, end I mean, of session. That's another thing out here. It's 
it's touch and go. Like when you commit, you there's no hesitation. There's an old. I always use it with the Groms that I coach. It's an old James Jones, a legend from Hawaii, was one of the best out at Sunset. Oh, wouldn't I get barreled at YMA? Yeah, and James stuff? Jones. So mm -hmm. and he had a saying: hesitate in your late, doubt in your out. And it's kind of you use that out like in heavy waves of consequence. Like so, if you commit, you gotta go. There's yeah, none of that. Hard. Like <gasps> I call it the whoa horsey. Like whoa, I'm pulling back, but out here you're you're like in the yeah. lip and over and you'll get hurt so you got to have full commitment out here surfing waves like this you can't hesitate no you know better no to just go guessing. down the face yeah and, and exactly eat it. just go get straight stuck in and, the yep, lip yep oh my wife does it just one more remember like Slater, what, together. remember kelly slater black and white he had that crazy one where he, he goes over at pipe like on his board it was in Kelly well, Slater, black and white. Not the one he makes with the green jersey, like the gnarliest one ever, right? No, okay. no. It was like it was in Kelly Slater, black and, and white. He, I think it was a free. Oh yeah, just one of the gnarly wipeouts on that like three yeah, three he's like carbon struck in the board. lip. Yeah. yeah. Oh my oh, god! Oh, who's this? Under oh, the lip. It looked like his back whoa, foot slipped off. He was off. in late, but that thing was makeable. Oh, it looked like but his I back foot slipped yeah, off when he, he just stood up. Ape hanged from the drop. Couldn't get the fin set too much. Like. Airdrop down the face, Tyler. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go, Vince. little. It oh, Vince. I think it was cleaning up right Whoa. now. I know. Oh my God. I know. We're this gonna... nine thirty to eleven thirty. After the tide window, as long as it stays buttery, it's gonna yeah. get good. I'll be right back, boys. Okay. Are you gonna go? Okay. You coming back though? Or... No, you can tell it's starting to like. Well, he's got to do some look, business. Joe, just look. Like right here, look. It's starting to pop up peaks everywhere. We're gonna. Thank you, Chad going. Wells. Thanks, Chad. He'll oh, be he's back. gonna be back. Thank you guys. Thank you, Seal you Beach want me to locals. Jump over? Okay. Can I switch keep the same headphones? Okay. Or I don't yeah, know. you can keep the same one. Whatever. Oh, okay. Whatever you want. It's fine. Whatever. I'm switching now. Who's that? No, that's not Nolan. Oh, are you gonna get your camera? I have it. I brought it. When are you guys going out? The boy, the fans are asking. Oh. I just watch I nowadays and commentate. Oh yeah, we have your clip. Like I'm I the forgot. Boy. What? We have wet some Wellsy clips out here. Let's see I, it. I found those things. Want to watch them now? Or Should we there's a little down. break in the watch action. Now? Oh, we got some waves coming, actually. I know. There's, 30 so, second clip. there's so much Third, action. No, don't wait. There's 30 seconds of waves coming. Hold on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there's me bus going down. <laughs> Hopefully no one shoots their board <laughs> at him. Oh, Nolan. Oh, Backdoor in the oh, left. Good one. Pump. Oh, no. Big backwash. Does he make it? No. That, oh, that oh, backwash got him, so huh? So gnarly. Oh, my tire guy called me. You guys all know him, Richard. <laughs> get, get some new tires today. Lining up some you tires. You know Richard, the b black haired guy that's crazy. He surfs lowers in Huntington. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know Richard. I know Richard. Yeah, Richard. Richard. He's the boy. He's tired. Long hair. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Rich, you know Richard. That's my tire guy. No way. I didn't know that. Yeah, got some new all terrains today. It's dialed. Love Rich. Giving him a couple rides back to the parking lot. So if you need lot. tires, hit me up. I'll hook you up with Richard Tires. No worries. Richard, I'm going to tell him. Where's he at? Where's he lo local? Yeah, he's just out of like Long Beach. Oh, no way. Oh, th that was cool. That was sick. The pops, wifey heard he everybody ollies. needed the foo. Yeah, he <laughs> pops down. ollies. He burns guys. <laughs> yeah, but be yeah. careful. He grew up in the hood. I wouldn't mess with him. Dude, he's kind of small in stature, Beach. but yeah. Blair Conklin on another one. Whoa, up. and he went... Cheater five nose pick. Who do we got here? Oh no! This, this thing looks is this nuts. Tyler? No. Oh, Yaden. Oh, Yates. Airdrop pulls in. Oh. Blown out. Oh my god. That was mental. Yates is. Has I mean, he been that's here a world. Way that's a world class day. surfer right there. Yeah. Where's that his thing was, That thing. He was out earlier. King. He must be out still. Yeah. He'd be getting just triple overhead. Dude, how gnarly right is now. that kid? That well, he's good. Of course. He's. I mean. Ar that, arguably yeah? the best 10 year old in the world right <laughs> just a kid though <laughs> <laughs> I love gotta keep him humble right Somehow. i mean yeah can't blow him up too hard Here's a replay. well yeah okay <laughs> replay this is sick take it away Saw him at Oside harbor the other day yeah a nickel for perfect CT. read i mean this was one let him in okay a little airdrop there but i feel like that high level talent he a, 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 an average Joe would have probably not made that. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there was some hidden difficulty in that drop right there for sure. That's in world that class yeah, oh, stuff right for there. For sure. That was sick. He's That made his day. Those are like those hairpin split. I don't know what they call it in football, like muscle twitch reactions. Yeah. Like it's the way he clamped it and then he knew to pump up and like. Hold that edge. And that all happens in like a millisecond. And not only that, just he, he picked the right board this morning. You know what I mean? Like. There was some commitment in the paddle. 
I went to that uh, that wave. In this Panama is so there. mental. It reminds me of a spot in South Florida that just sucks up the face so hard and grinds See, down the beach. People love watching Southside Seal. It's literally, entertaining. Like, it's so entertaining. If you could like charge, you'd make a <laughs> killing. People, we've we've made twenty bucks so far. We got people got their yuccas. I see a lot of yucca runner fins. Buys. There's the yucca fins. That guy just ran by and screamed. He want, he he crashed the couch right there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing he's got a wetty on. Oh, look at this little inside runner. Ooh. Good view. Like and subscribe. Hit that like button. Blow us up. I like the one. Wh who'd you have on at T Street? Like Kira Pinkerton. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, was oh, this Gunter? Oh. Okay. I think so. Oh, kind of ran off on I him. love Kira. She's... She's insane. Solid. Oh, she's so smooth, like the way she serves. Yeah. There's no we like. We need to get her on tour now next year. She's worthy. For she's, sure. I think, in the top five right now on the women's QS in the American region. They have two events left, two big ones. So there's actually a lot of ramifications going to happen for the women this year looking for the top five out of the North American region QS to get to the Challenger Series. And they just came out with the Challenger Series schedule, and it's insane again. Snapper, Narabin. And then where they go, Burbank. Yeah. So that's insane. Um, Snapper. I mean, Stoke. That's it's, it's like it's it's kind of the usual suspects. And then a couple new faces in the women. It's like the um, Zoe Benedetto, Bella Kenworthy, Noah Clapp, Talia's up there. One of my junior team girls. We um, had Bella on the show, too. Kira's in the top five. Um, well, yeah, Bella. Oh, down the beach. She got that Whoa, sick barrel at Goms deep, in the vans. She got in the vans thing, the Pipe Masters. That was cool for her. Got some experience out at Pipe. I'm sure kind of an eye-opener for some of those girls to surf big pipe. But that's an eye-opener for anybody. Oh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, was that Luke Davis? Maybe no. Luke. He knows the spot. Was that Luke Davis? It was. Yeah, okay. See, some gnarly guys are off the pier zone. You gotta keep you know, an eye down there. It's funny. I want to go get barrel I now. I know it'll make you want to get pitted. It's funny because back in when I was a Grom, and then even through like my early pro career, I turned pro '92. I graduated high school '92, just for reference. So I guess from, you know, technically like '92 to '98, I would surf out here with Wellesley and just a handful of people like this. We would almost be like hoping people On this would show size, up. Yeah, yeah like. Well, I mean, back it then, there's before, no cam, no, and you got to get a phone call, so and then do you make the drive? It's funny, because you could be, like, all, like, crabby local, like, oh, it's blown out, yay, Nichols here now, and, and <laughs> Couch Slater shows and here. everyone, but I'm kind of psyched. It's the, the waves are sick. We want good talent, like, Avi, right? Couch yeah. surfing's here. I mean, it's hard to keep anything. It's no, I know. In and Southern it's California. So, it's so beyond now. There's Even if we everywhere. weren't here, like as soon as someone that Yaden Nichols would be on someone's oh, Instagram on, story. That thing's on Stab, right now. Surf Line, everything later. But yeah. We got any more of those like little things? Like what? The, uh, the, the, the kook meter dude, stuff? Yeah, let's do some like, like votes. Someone wants to get some feathers ruffled. No, just kidding. <laughs> Finally, we have some action today. We, we usually yeah, have those. We usually those have. We're like, periods. oh, the waves aren't going to be good. Oh, we need yeah, a bunch you need of like the segments. Yeah, you're at T Street. It's one foot. Brothers yeah. doing an air again. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we want to. Yeah, I don't know. We usually have the top story. People are like, oh, he heckled brother. Okay. Brother's my boy, and if you're getting heckled, that means you're a we part love of the brother. program, right? He's our favorite. I grew up with the Santa Cruz guys, like Rapolgo and Galley, and if, if you're not getting needled, then, well, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, better when you're getting heckled because then you know you're loved. That's what That's I what figure saying. when I get those nasty DMs sometimes. Yeah, because you're doing something <laughs> oh, right. Oh, drop. heavy oh. one. A lot of it's about my Spicoli accent. Oh, look at this accent. one. Sometimes, hey. When the windswell kicks in and the tide drops and it gets a little closer, period, the waves get a little bit makeable out here. So put that in your notebooks, so might, people at home. When might, the thing goes a little bit windswelly. We might get, be getting it. Dude, it's cleaning up. No, it's I turning on. Who's that wearing? No. Uh -huh. Look at this one. You could go on this one. This guy's got the look. He's oh. got a bodyboard guy. Oh, you going to burn oh, him on oh. his... That guy looks like a loke, though. I don't know if you yeah. want to arm that guy. Oh, he looks snap. This could be a fight. This guy's Southside gonna, Seal, there's fights. He wants to. He wants Look to. this left. He wants to. Oh, this keep body filming. No, keep, keep that camera on a swivel. Yeah, these guys, they might have a couple words. Old school style. Settle it. Is no. there a head, <laughs> is there a a head, head low? Inside um, double up. Here we go. Straight out. 
Look at this. Oh thing. my God, is this Blair? No. Oh, he couldn't get into it. This which peak? Which peak does Noah film? Uh, I would say this <laughs> straight out peak. The <laughs> straight out one again. On this next one. But it's gonna be. See, it's got the low road too heavy. People will go though, just cause. Just cause. Oh, Vince. Oh. Good view. Dude. Whoa, did he make it to that end? That thing had like a double on it. Oh, look Conklin. at Conklin. Is he going to come out? He might. Okay, he had a good little read on it. Dude, my head's just twisting. On it's a hard swivel. To like. <laughs> I'm going to have to get some elixir here later on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Where's Wardo? He got a sick one out here oh, last year. Oh, where's my boy Chris? <laughs> what? A, let's talk about your, your pro career. No, who I don't. You know me. I don't like to talk about myself. Well, I can ask you. No, you're not okay. talking about. I'm asking you. So, cool. what what years were you on the tour, and what was your your best result? You came one spot, no, right? I from mean, qualifying. Yeah. Okay. So it was in 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 '96. I had a good run starting, and in, um, in Japan, I went second in a three star, and then fourth in a four star. I lost to Sean Sutton man on man in the oh in, donkey. Yeah. Oh, well, sick one. Oh, I think the Grom didn't have wax either. Oh. I started this run in 96, and then I won Virginia, my first QS win, um, ECSE. And was then that like I, a four-star then? Yeah, or? then it was like a three-star, but five-star was the highest, so it would have mm -hmm. been like a four-star or whatever. Yeah. Um, Still a QS win. Like a 3,000 nowadays, yeah, I yeah. guess, comparatively. Yeah. I won four grand. I bought a little pickup truck, so... 22 years old my life's kind pick of pickup trucks were four grand back then 7300 <laughs> saw a little toyota pickup parked on pch and sunset um but yeah and then i i got seven results in a row and then i went to hawaii and at the sunset you know last six thousand, i needed to make the quarters to maybe have enough points and i lost in that round of 32 like the heat before before the quarter so i i think 15 got in that was when 15 got in i ended 19th that year based on like that last result and then the same thing happened in 2000 in the sunset event make the round of 32 if i make this heat maybe making the tour that was heavy it's a funny story i had mick low paul canning and this gnarly underground brazilian guy and it was like it was inside bowl and and outside peak so it was like four to oh. six sunset which is always like tricky because oh, you don't know it's where in to go. The it's in between. And the, so the and Brazilian the guy sat on the inside bolt, started the heat, got two eights. I'm just going, oh, my oh, God. Crap. I got to get like looking And then I got look, Paul look. Canning and Mick Lowe. And Mick Lowe had already requalified. Paul Canning was on the CT, needed to make the heat to requalify. I needed to make the heat to, requal to qualify my first time. I'm on the QS. I broke my Magic 610 Sino on my first wave. And then I didn't have a 7-2. I had a 7.6 in the channel, and it was too big too for big. the conditions. And then I had Mick Lowe sitting on me for Paul Canning. So the CT guys buddy buddied up. No way. Oh, it was heavy. I was like were you profanities in the face. I was going to say, you guys oh. talking out there? Oh, oh, Vince. More than talk, bro. I was snapping. <laughs> I was like, get off me. Like, like he was sitting on me to hold me to, from getting waves before priority. Oh, my God. Look at these so, bombs. It's on. So, yeah, I that was like the – I did pretty good. I was like – Top three in the Bud Tour for like six or seven years running. I never won the Bud Tour. I got second one year. Simon Nicholson, that's huge. The South African guy won Virginia one year and snuck past me for like the American title. But I did win the PSTA twice, so I was like American Tour champion on the PSTA when the PSAA went away, and then Jeff Grell started the PSTA. It was like oh, 2000, 01, 02, 03. Danny Nichols won one year. Let's give Danny Nichols a shout Danny out. Danny Nichols, yeah. Yeah, I was 01, 02, like U.S. champion. Danny Nichols, oh 03. Oh, my God. And then the so. WSL told him, no, you can't run your events anymore unless you become sanctioned or whatever. So he had to fold power conglomerate. But, yeah. Um, and then I <laughs> retired early at 28. I thought I was going to become a, a, a pro golfer. I actually went and played mini tour golf for four years. And, uh, hey, and uh, and I was actually going to turn pro after four years of the Golden State Amateur Tour. I won a no two-day two event in Oak Valley, like where they have Q School. Um, and then I was going to turn pro. And it's funny that Teddy was hanging at my house in February of 08. He gets the call from Dival. Carlson just got cut as the lost team guy. Dival was offering it to Shreddy. I'm hanging out with Shreddy in the Chase 54 house. No way. I didn't know he Shreddy had, was getting Shreddy the, hangs the up call. the phone and goes, oh, they want me to do the team guy for lost. I'm over it though. I still want to rip and like, cause he was still kind of in the mix. 
and I look at, and I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, do, do I want to, like, go in the hole, like, 50,000 trying to be this pro golfer guy? Or do, do I, I go, can I call Dival back right now? And he's like, I, I'm like, I want to be the lost team guy. And so I called Dival, went and saw him the next day on a Friday, had a meeting. He said, think about it. Let's talk Monday. And uh, I didn't even need to think about it. I called him on Sunday, and I said, dude, hook me up. I want to be the lost marketing manager. And so oh, I did. Nolan. Yep. Packs and it. so that the rest is history. I was like lost team guy for two yeah, years that's that was fun I when you, you were well. there yeah. yeah that's how i know you well how's that team chris ward mason ho gorkin chris davo talk about gnarly <laughs> gnarly guy <laughs> gorkin watches this all the time i don't know if he's watching now oh i love seeing gorkin down he's, there he's got his deal in nicaragua yeah, someone so I, educate me on leashes at this break why no leashes well we talked about it earlier because tech uh sometimes having the leash and the board close to you in such turbulent shore break close in could make the board break easier than if you let it like ride up on the sand but then wellsy was talking about he stopped wearing a leash and then his board poked oh yeah and again oh. airdrop well, what that Diplo was a hell hell one. One. that was oh mental <laughs> Holy that was crap. sick. Yaden's got the two best ones, he? I think. Oh, is he right in front? Real. Is he right here? I think he's right, like right here, yeah. Yeah, that's him there. It's looking a little blown out when you point that way, but then when you point the other way, it'll be, uh oh, look at these waves. Good thing we're on this berm. Dude, that was insane. That was gnarlier than that other one. Well, huh? that was probably one of the heaviest waves in the last few That was like as heavy as last year's day that day Slater came, right? Dude, that right? thing was mental. Oh, we're See, getting full good. salt spray Dude, on our equipment. Spray. That's so good for the equipment. Yeah, is it? <laughs> nice and you know, rusty. Look at all these cables oh, and shit. Luckily, we got the burn. Oh, look close. at this bomb, dude. Are we get, are we worried here or are we safe, Simo? I think we're okay. I think we're good. Tide's going Because the tide's going the other way yeah. now. Dude, how's this action? I can't believe we're getting this. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, and then took the lost team guy and then became the coach guy, kind of. Um, I remember you you kind of got a lot of the kids on the lost boards in those years, well, I remember. You are really good thing. with the boards. That was the thing with with Newport. When I lived in Newport, and lived with Spides over there at, at Deals Pad, and then I lived on the beach when Chase Wilson's dad, gotcha. Darren, let me live there in that pad before they remodeled. Um, Beachfront. I had that connection to a lot of the Groms then. Kolohe, Luke Davis, Ian Crane. They were coming up on the USA team when I assistant coached for Joey that those years. So I was – it's funny. I've kind of been a part of the USA team thing since 07, not just 12 to 16 when I was the coach before. And then now I've been the coach for like two and a half years. So I was assistant coach to Joey when brother and Luke Davis and Ian Crane were all on the junior national team way back. So – it's kind of it's kind of cool to look at like how many generations. I mean, I coached Kanoa, Griffin, Cole Hausman, and it's funny. I have a lot of stories about all of those kids, like being the coach that are are good and kind of gnarly, like not letting them surf lowers because they didn't do enough events. But even <laughs> though they were the, like the gnarliest people, I kind of put my foot down old school. So yeah. Oh, Yaden had two nuts. Yaden, are we but, but, but look. They've all made it, and they've all are super gnarly now, and they're all like headstrong people. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, no, they're all so sometimes good. when you have the hardship and you have to go through and deal with the accountability, it kind of makes it better in the long run. Is kind of what I'm going at. So, yeah. my gosh! Oh, good Chad, job, it's, it's turning. It's turning. On you right know what? Now. You want to know? It's nuts. I think we're like on borrowed time because it's gonna start. The wind. It's gonna start foaming out the back. Oh, it's oh well, that, was that was nuts. <gasps> that was I think sick. it's was just that? that big enough. He it, like dropped down through the barrel. Oh, that's the one where the barrel's so like open that but you're just he was, he was in. just toe tapping see it. like how it burns. yeah it's gonna start capping yeah. too big it'll get a little too big the barrels will wash out grab, grab your eight four is that your brother <laughs> no I no can't goody, believe, goody I can't, text me he's gonna come down we gotta get him on here i can't believe how um how sick some of these waves are talk about the state of boogie in seal beach mm. yeah is that the the, the head loke boogie yeah bodyboarder is boogie like a bad thing to say or they, no, they call know. it boogie boarding or bodyboarding? I mean, if you have no ill will, right? Yeah. Yeah, is it bad? That Tanner no. McDaniel, Tanner said, McDaniel said, said it was cool. cool. He's number one in the world. So. Yeah, there you go. Can we replay that Yaden one? Is there oh a Oh, my lull? gosh. I, I was walking. Yeah, I rattled off. Throw a couple of replays up. I got to call Rich. Dude, okay. I, rattled <laughs> off, I rattled off like a 15-shot sequence Did as you? I was walking the berm. Oh, yeah. nailed it. That thing was nuts. That thing was nuts. 
Yeah, this I want. I think might not have been the year that Kelly won, but there was. It was the year that Gravier was like the replay. Crazy replay. Let's watch crazy this. Crazy kegs, and Yaden had gotten some nuts one. Digs when, over when he was on oh. still on tour. Look at this one. How's that thing? I mean, right that there. That thick. was so thick. He's happy. He looked happy with he that. He did little the Grom pump. hop. Yeah. He's too good to claim it, but he did the uh, little. He hop. like went two pies. Whoa, in the he's off almost the bottom. Watch. He's almost a little like, two hander. Uh, uh, uh. He almost was, was too high. He almost didn't get into that thing. That thing could have been carnage. We want to see carnage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Uh, that thing <laughs> I mean, is that <laughs> not a proper like? That's a four foot Hawaiian wave. Full blown. <laughs> it's maybe six footer. Like if that was a back door. Look how thick it is right, right here. This part of the lip right there. The thing just right there, folds that. over. Luckily, he had that that opening exit. Sometimes those will pinch out here. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, dude, it, he's gotten some crazy barrels. So if he's doing a little happy hop out of that thing, For sure. you, you know it was hey, legit. Hey, that thing looking into it was nuts. <laughs> the thing was wide, huh? That uh, thing, like, <laughs> just went whoop. Yes, that was mental. That was like a proper 12th Street Bull, too. What's this? Bodyboard guy. Zibugs. Big Air Reeve or whatever they're called. ARS. ARS, Air, yeah. Air Roll Spin. Someone call my boss and tell him that I have a family emergency so I can <laughs> go paddle yeah. out. Or Get just here. Come watch. Get here. Well, you got to love bodyboarders because just didn't Aunt Andre Looking like Botha France. save Evan Geiselman's life? And just I remember that member, Andre yeah. Botha, the well, South African with the beard, gnarly pipe charger. Think of all the waves they pioneered, That's what too. I mean. He's, They're gnarly. Bodyboarders are freaking nuts. Okay. Yeah, I think so. That pipe they used to do, no leashes, no Alani's kind of referencing maybe back in the day. Like, yeah. Yeah, but now, guys, so they, they're still attached to it. I now figure, like, like, once the waves are that heavy and gnarly, all that boogie board surf thing goes no, out the window. I it's mean, all about, oh. like, safety and, totally. and stuff like that oh. when it's that gnarly. And you, and you can see that with how gnarly the Hawaiian uh, Water Patrol. I mean, Eli Olson was right there. I think the first to get to Jiao Chombina, I saw that, like, talk with Nathan on their podcast or whatever. That was gnarly. Just listening yeah. to the – I watching the videos gnarly. I, I almost I go to tears watching those videos. Oh, yeah. Dusty, Even when, pa Dusty Payne's – face plant remember like guys are they were on hayden it. rod like how many in the most i saw the hayden guys? thing i was there oh, I saw dude. That so hayden evan like it's just countless p people of near-death it's experience so of dangerous thankful a lot of them made it most of them it's so dangerous so Ooh. oh a little in there's the wave simo is going to go on a little head high <laughs> corner a little spitter <laughs> call it a day <laughs> right go home and like, tell my wife how barreled i got thanks no for coming she might be tuned in right now Probably. I told her. I sent her the link. They did the dog walk over at Gum Grove, and we might go surf River Seal. The rights are going off. Tell us you about it. Were you there last night? Well, I surfed I surf crabs, yeah. It was yeah, like 200-yard okay. rights. Was Brett out there with Kobe? We did a shift change. Dude, I thought I saw Kobe on the camera on a wave. Yeah. No, uh, Brett, what, I, what Brett was like, I just I got like know. a handful of four bangers. Okay. It looked fine. I was going to ask about your, your board theories with um tstt but you're always <laughs> preaching that about the kids and it's their little thin just, boards yeah well everyone rides like under foam nowadays everybody rides like the same height board as them where we never did like you should be riding a board one to three inches longer than your height but it kind of it, it goes off your body shape but but technically i i've got this model where like, let's just say you're 5'8", 130. You would be riding your gravel board at 5'9", and whatever your width and thickness needs to be. And at 130, Wearing. hopefully it's two and a quarter at least. Um, and then and then you have a, a two-inch longer short board, 5'10", a little narrower, usually a quarter to a half-inch narrower, and, and similar thickness. So it, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, Yaden again. But everyone these days is riding 17 and a half, two and a sixteenth. If you watch like Aussie Groms, they're all riding boards over foamed and we're all on boards under foamed, which create bad habits. So learning how to turn a little longer rail in your surfboard only creates better habits. You paddle quicker, you get tired less quickly. So there's, it's all bonuses. And everyone that's followed along oh, my system this? and trusted me. Vince. Oh, he's Is that on. Vince? Yeah. Yeah. Is killing it. So that's why I'm Wee. so like adamant about what I feel Maryland, about yeah. equipment. Yeah. 
like Nora Leota recently just went first, second, third, qualified for the Challenger, and I did her equipment like six months ago, and she was just fighting it. She was on like 18 and a half, two and three sixteenths, but she's got power. So I said, hey, you need like 18 and three quarters and like two and three eighths, right? So just incrementally changing it. And she went first, second, third in three QSs, like on, on a 5.9, 5.10, and a 6 oak quiver. So if you just trust people that know what they're Kirk. talking about. Yep. Weisinger. He yeah. got Kirk the Weisinger. one last year. Yeah. Kirk. You know, everyone's got their own opinion, though. So you have to, like, make sure you trust certain people because I won't name names. But even in the industry lately, people that are affiliated with big brand names try and – get my dims and then they undercut them for the kid thinking they see the kid in the shape room or the or the surf shop and they go no instead of 18 and a quarter we're going to give you 18 or 17 and seven eights i dude constantly <laughs> where the kid gets the board and i'm like no my numbers were different and no they said the, the, but who are these people that are like team managers like i'm gold medal multiple times over yeah, coach yeah, like got, all i do stats. is all i do is coach kids so like and, and make people rip and, I, you know, so it's like the proof's in the pudding. So. Well, I remember. Anyway. I don't think I had my boards dialed until you were the lost guy. And then I think I asked you. And, like, finally that's when I felt like, dude, these are the right boards. Like, yeah. when you were the lost guy, like, what do I well, get? So originally like, oh, it was, you need to get this It was and that. TSTT was how it all started. Too yeah. small, too thin. And yeah. then we jokingly <laughs> said, oh, we're going to make a poster. And if you're on the poster, you're you're bummed that was like in the chase wilson luke davis kolohe yeah. ian crane when they were like 15 16 17 oh, blair but it's funny look kolohe never whoa, whoa is he gonna come oh, out he's coming out, it's come out. That oh was sick. he it's, went far he went all the, the way board. to the end the board didn't <laughs> let him board, out yeah. well i mean here's the thing too it's it's easier to go too thick and come down yeah you'll get there faster than incrementally trying to creep up yeah oh and that happens you, you Especially in like this teenage age where kids are growing so rapidly. Yeah. Oh, you, I know. You go yeah. too thick, bring it down instead of trying to match the, the weight. Well, and let's just look at like clips of Aki, Neil Purchase Jr., Mick Lowe, like Margo. I mean, those are all Aussies, but they all rode longer equipment, maybe three to five inches longer than yeah. their height. And how gnarly does it look? Like, yeah. like, like really the gnarly. Back. The Credence guy now, he rides kind of longer equipment. Yeah, and they, it looks good. Someone just posted a clip of Curran on a 6'8". Like, oh, like Jay Bay or something? But it was the lefts. He was, oh, and oh, it was like left. he was surfing beach break on a 6'8", and he was surfing it like a shoreboard. Yeah. So so if a kid's riding a 5'5 five five by 18. Kurt? Is that Kurt? Oh. Yeah, that looked like Joe Zucchero. Maybe. And I say you need like five seven and they just get so up in arms at me like oh i can't win. Like, dude i learned to serve right? on a six like, one that was i know sick so anyway Grom we don't need to harp on about that I but love it. if See, you need help with your dims just hit me up yeah you hear that tstt hey, foam, is, got, foam is your friend foam is your friend totally. well yeah. i'd way rather get a board that's a little too thick than one that's too well thin. i know don't once it's too thin i'm like i'm over this yeah foam is your friend see yeah. there you go craig ford luke weiler recently taj Lamblad. like i'll name a bunch of people that we're a little f scared. Confessions of a kid's <laughs> surf coach. <laughs> Even Griffin Colapinto, you know, he would be riding like 18.38. I'm like, Griff, you need 18.63. He switched, and the, the rest guy? is history. Oh, that was a sick drop. Formed out, stands straight up. Yeah. Was Ooh, that? crazy kick know. out. Yeah. He could have done a backflip right there. I want to see King on a good one. Get it in tight. Just, we'll tell you. super small. Who is that? <laughs> He'd be putting his arms up and so. Oh, I do feel the breeze. There it is. Wow. Yeah, We've had some dragon. action though. No, we'll be good for a minute. How long do you usually run the couch show? However like long. A little over two okay. hours. Yeah. You guys started about. But when we cover when we cover the events, like we did the Kaloe's contest for like eight hours. Oh wow. I could barely think at the end. You guys know how it is. Oh, I got I got parents texting me now about because the lane <laughs> contest is gonna be big, maybe oh, for the need prime some bigger boards. next weekend. They're like, oh, is it is it too big? What do we ride? But you can kind of always get away with, you know, even if like middle peaks ten to fifteen, the points only like six to. You know what I mean? Like, the lane doesn't get too crazy if it's if it's not like over fifteen feet. But right, like you can kind of surf the point the lane area. Like you guys do. Oh, okay. Well, you can. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the lane very well either, but I love it. Slot wave. Who's this? Digging. Nope. Who's looking? Over There's it. the hesitation, but that thing was a little thing wasn't runny. That, that good. Should we pay the bills a little bit? Almond Pay joy. the bills? Yeah, what? Plug our sponsors? 
And we're sponsoring ourselves with our merch. The best way to support the show, hit that QR code, check out our merch. It's bold yet timeless styles. Here we go. We got a we got our model. We got the kook meter, that's one shirt. And then we got the regular logo shirt. I'm like a sales rep, I'm showing the line. Yeah. It's a huge line. We got two t shirts. Soft to the hand. <laughs> Soft Feels to the touch. One hundred percent ring spun cotton. One hundred percent ring bold yet timeless designs. The kook meter only points to the kook, so you got to be a kook. But yeah. And if you like uh, spending $100 on a shirt, we're now shipping to Australia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you're if in you Australia, gotta, it costs 100 bucks. Yeah, if you just have like endless amount of disposable income, which you might because you're in Australia, go ahead. Oh, that's classic. <laughs> There's no there. modeling. Okay, so the, the that's thinker. one of our sponsors, the Deep Thinker, right? Our the video thinker guy. Post. Video guys are deep thinkers. Love it. So that's one of our sponsors ourselves. And our other sponsor from the beginning, Kook of the Day. We're all kooks in our own way. Oh, and <laughs> wellsy has got something to plug. I got the foo right oh, he's here, got bro. got the foo. He's, <laughs> handing, he's handing the foo. Okay, Kook of the Day is our sponsor. Oh, Yaden Nichols digging for the barrel. Yaden Nichols in the barrel. And he gets... Not oh, comes no. out. Okay, thank you, Kook of the Day, for always supporting the show. Check out their Instagram, Kook of the Day. They lost all their followers, but they got their Instagram back. No one poses right here. Go to CouchSurfingShow.com if you want to order a shirt. Thank you so much, everybody. No one's getting smoked. Oh, we got a replay of Nolan. Ready? Here we go. Let's see it. Okay, oh, I thought this thing was doubling up so hard. I was like, oh my God, I'm about to get a sick vision. And then it gurgles on me when I get in this thing. Look at, dude, this is so sick. It gurgles right here. This goes, no, you're not coming out. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's the one I should have came out of. Damn couch. Are you gonna go back out? Yeah, of course I'm going back out there. It's firing. Oh. Get back out there. What? What? Why don't Why don't I take you from your job and you go out there for like a wave or two? <laughs> yeah, you want to get out there, Joe? I almost broke my neck out here one time. I think I'm too old to go out Is that there. the last time you surfed out here? Yeah. I got a shot or two of you from that day. That huh? was the day. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I got. I actually got the best water shot of my Goody. life. All right. Let's get Goody in here. It's turning on. I got to kind of go. All right. Okay. Dog yeah. That Simo. was fun. Thanks Thank for you having so much. me. I had a great time. January 19th, we'll be with Simo watching US the team. U.S. surf team. Yeah, dog. Thank you, Ryan Simmons, legend of Seal Beach. Yeah. Get over here. We're going to get Dave Goodrich in here. We're getting Dave Goodrich. Owner, Goody Mob. He's the owner of Alternative Oh, my God. Surf. Look at these waves. Oh, my God. No, I know. It's Well, the tide's on the way out. It's okay. going, but you got to get it before it starts fluffing out the back. Yeah, get wow, out there, Nolan. Fucking legit. Holy We're shit. We're legit. <laughs> there. Yeah, Dave. This is Joe here, by the way. What's up, Joe, yeah, Dave. Dave. Nice to meet you. Okay, so, yeah. fill us on who Dave is. Dave is the owner-operator of Alternative Surf, the local boogie <laughs> shop. That's How long has it been in town for? Uh, since 95. Sick. So Alternative I, surf. Okay. I was saying earlier, like 20 years ago, this isn't never happening. But we get, uh, we get punched out be, right here. In in the no, and, <laughs> it, shit and here's around. the thing though, in the in those 20, like the bodyboarders hold it down for us on the days off, you know. So they'd be flexing on clowns that would show up. Uh, yeah, so and, and and it inevitably became a nice marriage of uh, <laughs> all of our personalities and uh, and love for the slabs out here. Yeah, I mean, we're bodyboarders and surfers here when it's pumping the local boys. We all recognize each other, like, with respect, because this place will, will break you for sure. Um, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Wave takes care of itself. I just said I almost broke my neck when I surfed out yeah, here. Yeah, there's a couple, <laughs> there's at least a couple broken backs every year. You see people that don't belong out here that come out here for the glory shot, and it, like Chad says, the spot kind of regulates itself. It does. But there are a few people, including me, not so much anymore, that'll regulate the other situation if it happens. <laughs> right? <laughs> Guys are getting sent in and stuff. Yeah. The old, it's, it was really bad in the old days. When I when I grew up, I was under the pier, and the guys I looked up to, like Barba, and some of those guys were pretty notorious for... Uh, Is Chad Barba from here? 
Yeah. Be Long Beach. Oh, Long Beach. Long Beach. Yeah. Close. Yeah, I call this spot like where the hood meets the sea, because you get like the long, <laughs> yeah. you get the Long Beach, Lakewood, Scriggs, and you get some of the. So it's like the. Well, yeah, yeah. this is the first uh, surfable beach right off the 605. Oh right, the 605 yeah. just and so goes right in the Seal yeah, Beach Seal, Boulevard. Yeah, it just right? starts at Seal and goes south. You guys south. want a pillow pocket? Oh, uh, no, I'm cool, man. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to realize Seal the Seal Boogie. Cody might like, want one. Cody, what's up? Uh, Seal Boys are we're a little raw, but I thought it's always been. This I mean, show's pretty raw, so you can do what you want. Sick, yeah. The Chad when Chad hit me up. If it was anybody else, I probably would have shined it. But Chad, <laughs> Chad's a fucking legend over here, so. That's why well, we knew we had got, to have the Wellsy back in. So, well, yeah. no, I needed – you need Dave to come in. Yeah. He, he's, he's a store owner. He has a lot of vested interest in what happens out here. 100%. But he can talk to the state of Boogie, which I can't. You know what I mean? And that's why I asked him, hey, just come sit in for a minute before you paddle out and, like, let's talk shop. And yeah, we're definitely, like – this is probably the biggest Boogie Mecca, like – because when the wave gets good here, it's there's a lot, we have a lot of customers that are surfers that also boogie because it gets too heavy for the stick, especially on high tide here. So we have we have a lot of guys that are good at uh, both crafts. So um, yeah, dude, it's uh, this place thrives. Alternative surf thrives on swell. We have summer, and then when there's no waves here and the sand shitty, it's we. You can feel the effect at the 100%, shop. One hundred percent, man. You know, it's like. Get so, that mic a little closer. Yeah. Closer. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, we feel it. Like, when there's swell in town, we get, we get walk-ins. People lose fins. Our private label, our clothing does well. It's just, like, a lot of the businesses on Main Street, as Chad can attest to, it's like you have to have... Well, yeah. Don't so get me shop, started. Where's the shop? Don't it's get on me Main started. Street? Main, yeah, right across the street from the, Harvard. The, this is, okay, this across is the, the street from Harvard, Main Street. And this Seal is the beach. wheelhouse I'm talking about of the, the nourishment and the health of the shoreline here has a major effect on all the foot traffic on Main Street. And, and we're talking parking, parking tickets, revenue. It's, yeah. it's generated money through a natural resource of a beach town. And our inevitably or, or through neglect, like it just kind of the surf just kind of went out of sight, out of mind. And it got so bad. We couldn't hold our championships on Northside anymore. Yeah, Northside's real bad. Now we got yeah. to had to have it at River, and it's like, hang on a minute. The future generations Ugh. of this town rely on the health of the shoreline, but sick. in order oh, to kind of talk to city people about breaking out bulldozers, you've got to show them the economic impact of losing the surf. You know? You'd think that in this day and age, that would be like a given for beach cities in Southern California to uh, like keep the surf scene going. Hundred percent. And they're raising our lease. The, at, so our oh no, yeah. So the new contract we have is at is ten. They can do ten percent every year, and there are months where we literally sell a bar of wax. You know, months but days. So it's like for them to raise ten percent lease on the. I mean, that, our shop is more than a shop. It's a community. I mean, it's like. I, as a kid, that's where I hung out. So I know how generous. This kid right here is 26. He would, he would come there and he was 12. Like, these are all Oh, local. who's Look that? That guy that looks like he knows sick. what he's doing. Sick one. That was like Kirk or something? Maybe? No, that's, oh, you know who that is? McBride. Oh, McBride. yeah, Danny's. Yeah, McBride. McBride's that's, a legend, That's bro. one of our SEAL board is riders. Is that a local right guy? There. Justin White, yeah. Sick. That he's was him on that other one. legendary. Yeah, yeah he's Standing a, straight up on that one. He's an animal. He's a full tube hound <laughs> yeah he's been out here since he was a baby dude look like it but yeah so like for me having kids it's like hey mike i want my kids to have what i had 100 and they they've already kind of lost it but it's not like you can't get it back it just takes a little bit of effort unfortunately it's from the city so there's a lot of probably red tape to yeah. zip through but Tons they should of bureaucracy yeah they should want it because i mean you take swell episodes, you look in these parking lots, and then you look at the probably the spike yeah, just there. trying to get here on Main Street. And the like, spike on insane. Main Street. Yeah, yeah, Main Street's hopping. Yeah, it is, yeah. so, just because of all the waves and stuff. Yeah. I'll be happy when some of them go. Is there a way? I wonder if there's a, <laughs> like a metric to measure that. Like, Well, no, you could take. I could give you the metrics of my shop. Yeah, you're like, like, like the, yeah. literally the fucking set. Sorry, I don't want to cuss. Dude, That's okay. Right. Uh, the sales are like, I mean, I know if it was flat out here, after Christmas, we'd be dead. Literally dead, and I'm, I'm paying an employee. I'm paying to keep the lights on. 
So it's like it revolves, like Chad says. It's uh, you know, the metric I can literally pull up my Square app and show you when they're swelling town. Well, we compare bills. Go year <laughs> over year in the parking lot for ten years. You post it up to any swell episode, and you'll see the spike <laughs> of the meters and stuff. Yeah, totally. Hundred percent. So I mean, the real the 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 hiccup here. Oh, that's oh, sick. Look at this one. Is he open sick. up? Sick. Oh, got too steezy. I know, but he pulled oh, it off. No, I thought he was sick. gonna get clipped right there. The the real the real banger of revenue is the off days that aren't these highly publicized big days. That's where the money really comes yeah. in, and that's what's missing now. Yeah. Like if you have consistency. Yeah, it doesn't break. And I think I was going back to, like, Sean Collins had done the research, and it's a 125-day-a-year spot when it was good. Now Northside's down to less than 30, if that. Well, Southside, Holy I don't crap. know if it's just – I mean, Southside broke. When I was a kid, I was here yeah. a lot, a lot more. And, like, the Pier Bowl, for instance, doesn't – had a famous rebound. Like, there was a rebound that was – just yeah. probably the best rebound on the planet in California, and it's gone. It hasn't done it in 10 years. That's where a lot of, like, the boys would thrive, the bodyboarding locals, and that I don't even know where that – that's totally gone. You know why? The wall's too short. The yeah. beach is too long. Wall's too short. It doesn't have the depth. I heard they know? put sand in there, right? Weren't they trying to – I don't know. They need to – so one of the old school locs threw a, a haymaker at me the other day. Tyler. Oh. Um, and he was like – they need to scoop all the sand from under the pier out yeah. because instead of the sand washing through organically through the wall how it used to, now it's going oh, over the wall knows. where it shouldn't. Whoa, that, that was, was a sick it. one. Oh, that was Niley. Oh, yeah. did he crack the guy? That was Niley on another one. Where are you guys shooting at, right here behind me or what? <laughs> he's, he's filming right here. I know it's weird you're facing the other way. Oh, lone bug, don't cook it. Oh, that was kind of a whack one. What's the state of, like, competitive bodyboarding nowadays? It's is terrible. there, like, a world tour? There was a world tour. It's all owned by, like, a lot of Euros. Uh, there's, like, there's money in it, like, overseas. I mean, Tanner McDaniel. I know. We just saw him walk by earlier. Yeah, he uh, he won the world champ. He's, he's living in San Clemente now, but, like... Yeah, bodyboarding in general, if you do it and you commit to it for a long time, it's a passion, bro. It's, there's no, like... <laughs> there's no pro there's career. No, there's, like, maybe... <laughs> I think the guys that actually make a living off it actually own companies down the road, and then they get, you know, distro stuff, but... No, nah, it's healthy. It's healthy and booming here, dude. I mean, this place is, as Chad can attest, bro, this spot is... We got a rabid pack of gangster bodyboarders around here that oh yeah well, the no, wave, they, they the, live and die for the this wave spot. Su the wave suits it there's that's probably four sure. guys that live in town that bodyboard but there's 50 yeah that don't. grew up around uh -huh. here that all then, yeah kind of claim it and handle it i'm like you know back in the day it kind of rubbed me wrong but as i got older i'm like you know what it's it's just a common common thread for us you couldn't even bring a camera down here up until i mean you know what 2005 or two, you know whatever it was like you brought a camera and film you better you better have known somebody so that's why we called wells to, to bring this set up well, <laughs> well i think trust I, me. I got the stink eye and i told him I was, <laughs> oh no trust me i lost i'm sleep. sure you're getting some shit <laughs> i'll get some shit but oh. it's all good bro i mean it's uh, I, I lost sleep over it last night because <laughs> oh, no. i was so freaked out but at the end of the day if if we don't show the success or the 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 whatever the word i'm looking for like the 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 hook to get people into seal we're going to be squabbling over a wave that never breaks yeah, and it's like sure, i don't want to be a local at a novelty spot i need to get the city to work yeah. with me to fix the sand so we can have waves all the time and then it won't be that big of a deal when yeah. people and are yeah and i mean if anybody's like, like oh, you're, it all blow the time. you're blowing it out with the couch low the couch is Five this spot, years. This spot, I mean, still yeah. somewhat underground, but it's not like it was, you, you know, guys are whatever. five years too late. It's been blown yeah. out already. There's guys that have YouTube clips that surfed yesterday that were up in the afternoon. I'm like, it's no different from what everyone else is doing. Um, so yeah, this spot regulates itself. When yeah. it's heavy, it's like you know the guys. I mean, you can see whether they're stand up surfing or bodyboarding. You know the guys that know this wave. They're in the right position. Oh, oh Yaden again. Backwash. Wow. That was Ooh, that thing puffed. That thing. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's mad. He didn't and make I mean it, but that, he already made two sick ones. And that's the state of surfing right now. It's like everywhere's crowded. It's impossible to not have crowds. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, especially around here. Yeah. yeah. The heart of Orange County. Thanks for coming. But, but yeah, I mean, 
your average surfer or bodyboarder probably doesn't want to paddle out here unless you think you can make a super steep drop right on the oh, beach be and, and get bro. spit it's out. Like I've saved, Some guys want to do it. I saved kids with broken backs like two years ago. I, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I've seen some pretty gnarly carnage here, dude. Like, oh, I bet there's been. Some I think this place can break necks. you off worse oh, than no, the wedge. For like, sure. uh, I think Tony. Um, gosh, who's that? Vince again? HB kid. Oh, Vince. He, he, he broke his, here? his like Sammy would be colorful. He broke his uh, little bone in his leg out here. Mike Ciramella from Stan. Hey guys, I'll be yeah, back boys. out in a minute. He he Sir fractured Malley. a vertebrae out here, like trying to pin drop one. Like seals gnarly. Yeah, I told oh, my who's MCL this? Out here. I think that was Kirk or that McBride. Was sick. That was sick. He went far until it could pinch there at the yeah. end. Esther was breaking last night. Did you see that? Sammy Wick went out there. Yeah, I saw him when they were all gearing up. Yeah, that was Kirk on that one. I guess if we're going to blow it out with a couch, at least we can plug some local businesses and stuff. Yeah, if you need well, or shit. <laughs> Instead of just throwing it on our Instagram surf. story. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, I mean, the big boxes and those those companies, have, they hurt retail, even though all of our shit's online. It's like, it's a struggle. Dude, I'll have to, like, people try to price match the shit they buy from some big distro company. And I'm like, dude, this is more than just a shop or a brand. This is, like, a community, you know? It's... That's the thing that, I mean, I grew up here. This is where I took the bus. This is where I stayed right here in the summers. This is like, you know, so, yeah, to get to get the community to come together and keep this place going, you know, for the next generation, because you feel like an old dog. You're like, dude, I remember the days. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's true, dude. It's it's really yeah, true. Yeah. We, I mean, nothing. You got to fight for it. Nothing would be sadder than like a beach town with no surf shops or something because the rent's so high and this and that. Like, yeah. I mean, even in Newport, like surfers don't live at the beach anymore. It's just too expensive. It's, yeah, I mean, that's why I had to move inland a bit. Well, when I, I was a kid, imagine. all these guys had like surfer flop pads right yeah, there. Bro. Like, it's tough. But now dude. it's like, dude, no, no, now, now no young surfers can afford to live down there. Now yeah. a three bedroom on uh, what's the street there in Newport Ocean? What is it? Yeah, Ocean it, Boulevard. It's probably or... like fifty five. They're all owned by like <laughs> equity companies yeah, and shit. Totally. Yeah. It's it's kind of sad. I mean, well, see, we just, like Main Street is owned by a lot from a lot of smaller families own it. Local families. Local families still yeah. own it, which is why you don't see Starbucks oh, my and all that all that bullshit down That's there. Good. My Grom. Oh. That's Weston. Groms are skimming. Yeah, dude. this is where it starts at the pool down the hill. And you work your way out there. Yeah. That's where <laughs> oh, we no. all started, right? My, my Grom, I tried to talk him out of the skim, wanted a skimboard. Uh, I'm like, dude, you surf? Like, you don't need a skimboard? No. <laughs> no, Dad. I want it. So now he got it. Yesterday was his first day. He could barely do what he's doing now. There you go, bro. Now he's Said what's up it. to Blair. Blair called him a, like, mini boss, and he watched Blair Conklin videos for oh, hours. Oh, Blair. Blair, when he comes out here, it's... <laughs> He's, and now he's, he's like, that guy's he, next level, bro. Von Man's all skimmed out of his marbles now. He's Blair picked off a bunch earlier. Well, Blair boogies too. Blair Blair grew up at Aliso, so there's like a there. I mean, Aliso is the same thing with Piers gone and all well, that. He's but, one of those guys that's just good at. Yeah, everything. he's good. That yeah. guy. We have a few bodyboarders that like. I have some guys that ride for me. They literally can skate, shred in the skateboard, shred in the surfboard, and then when Seal's cooking or at the wedge, they're they're on their boogie, you know. So. Yeah. yeah, all kinds of craft in the ocean nowadays. Feel the wind on my neck, but it doesn't it, look like it's, it's not really affecting it too much. No. What well, eventually though, the tide is gonna get too low and it just mushes through or something. Well, it, it, it it'll better. pull it out the back more, and then yeah. instead of l tossing, they start crumbling. Uh -huh. Who's that? Nolan or somebody? I don't know. No. No, I don't know. Regular footer, somebody. Got the Nolan hair, just standing the other way. Yeah, the pier bowls where I usually that that's been my spot for for twenty five years I usually drop near the pier bowl and get all aggy over there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 10th ten, ten street's my zone <laughs> yeah i just like yeah, I've, i had to like tone it down a lot when i when i became the owner of alt surf because i was one of the gnarly dudes potential like, clients <laughs> getting bro, sent i got in. stories that i don't even want to put up on here <laughs> i had to be reminded of that when i was remodeling the shop I had to literally be reminded of that by some friend. My friend owns a juice shop right next to where we're at, Calypso. Shout out to Calypso. Uh, <laughs> Just flexing on guys. And uh, he was <laughs> like, goody, bro, you're remodeling the shop on Main Street. You kind of have to, like, <laughs> low-key now, bro. Let other people handle your... Uh... <laughs> Dial it back. <laughs> yeah, dude. 
But nah, seals a uh, seal for. I mean, oh, is this family. Nolan? Yeah. Here goes Nolan. Oh, that's a sick one. Bomb left. Oh, stall stall oh, come sick. out! Oh, that was come sick. out, Nolan! Yes. yes. There we go. Dude, there's no boogie representation right there. What the fuck is going Dude, on? Dude, you got the, they were, we're out gonna full get force some. yesterday. Look, my employees call me right now. He's probably watching this <laughs> or something. Is this live right now? Or yeah, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. live. Hey, and a little bit of business. <clears throat> checkout wasn't working on the store, but it is now. So, okay, there you go. On our Cal checkout, Cal yeah, Calturfing showed up. <clears throat> now, 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 we haven't got any orders lately. <laughs> Every, <laughs> everything <laughs> works perfectly. What is it? What is it? Alternativesurf.org. Alternativesurf.org. Yeah, all your boogie Check that needs. Out. We got we got sick line of clothing. Probably got all the fins boogie. and stuff too. Right, right? Everyone sh everyone yeah. should have a pair of fins, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a one stop shop for your boogie needs, Brad. It's a replay. All right, take it away, boys. Look Nolan, at this. Look at that. Uh, Nolan always finds these he laughs, does. too. Ooh, foot almost came unstuck. That was sick. Just had the arm drag. There it was. That other Ooh. view got just puffed out, too. I'm sure somebody got that other view. That was oh, no, so anybody sick. on the pier just got the sickest view. Got a view. sick shot. Uh, did you hear they closed the pier last night? Yeah, it's, I'm mm. like, well, it's... Well, really? dude, there's still bombs coming. Holy crap. I think the second round's going to be bigger, right? No. Like tomorrow night. Are you so. watching? There was waves breaking in front of the period. Because Yay Nichols is oh, super dream. What? That was way sick. Oh, it just caught him. I know you got it. Sorry, I'm always making sure the video guy doesn't miss. Somebody got it. Yeah, I was at Huntington <laughs> when you guys were filming. I was dropping at the pier, and I was like, they're probably going to, like, clown me or something. Be like, no there's way. the only bodyboarder at the pier. Oh. My bride always gets sick ones. We don't clown anybody. See, if I clowned you, you would have never came on our show. <laughs> it, was just, it was just like you you can't snap on everyone because they might be a customer. Yep. Here, here's right. some clowning right here. Joe's a barrel dodger. Thanks. How do you, you get that live in there? I'll buy a shirt if Joe what, packs one. I'll buy a shirt. Like Dude, don't tempt me. I, don't uh, tempt me. I don't have a board. i shirts, bro. Alternative yeah. surf shirts. Yeah. Yeah, get some of those. Alternativesurf.org. We support all forms of wave riding. Just don't burn the boys. I like that. <laughs> no burning the boys. <laughs> well, that's rule number one. Right. We got to get For Sammy sure. on here. Sammy would be like. Yeah, Jesus is probably surfing somewhere. Yeah. Or he's out here somewhere. We got to oh, yes. Whoa, yeah. tippy toes. Was that Wardo? I don't know, but he was like <laughs> on his toes. So any right of the there. HB guys come down today or what? I yeah. think so, yeah. yeah. I definitely feel the wind on my neck. Backwash. Yeah. When was the last contest you did here? What was that? The the Morgan? What was the that? Morgan. 14? Or? Yeah, it was. I don't know. I'd have to dig through my phone. Kyle McGeary won that one. Wasn't that when Brett Simpson like gashed his head open or something super gnarly? Uh, it was heavy. No. I was at the pier. Who's this? Is this one of your boys? Trunking it. What? Oh, thing opened know, up. Bro. That was hectic, dude. I wonder Is if that guy punched? really trunking it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know anybody right? that's trunking it right now, dude. That guy he needs to go to your shop and buy a wetsuit. Oh, that's Jeff Lane, bro. That guy's from Huntington. That guy's a G, dude. He has dread still. Oh, look at that. He Does he have a shirt on? It. Yeah, that's Jeff, like bro. Jeff, on. Jeff's, Jeff's crazy, dude. He's from Huntington. I think he was on the HB bodyboard team the year before i was yeah that uh that's one good way to get rid of some inflammation that's one good way to get, <laughs> that's one way to get scars ice, all ice up on you right there, ice dude. so good what's the sand is there big shells here or is yeah. it pretty smooth um i mean right like right in the kind of the trough of the shoreline it gets kind of shelly and weird you gotta come here after a rain you see oh. some good, and good it's only bodies and cats all and the sand <laughs> is like pushed around sand uh -huh. that's not like what should be there so it's just all gritty it's a little teepee weird. right here but it's big, that, big grain sand like north side's fine river mouth sand and this is all trucked in stuff yep so like in 09 and 2014 oh! like they look at this How's thing that right look at this see it's kind of fat who's that oh i don't know straight though that was straight hander i think it was like two peaky yeah huh? But those years they trucked in sand, and since then they haven't added any sand. Uh -huh. So when they build this thing, last year they built it and sand went out in the water and pushed all the sand, which they flattened yeah. out the slope. This year they didn't flatten it out all the way. But um, this is all just bought sand. Yeah, it would be gone in a freaking oh, year. Oh, that was day. dangerous. So it's, I want to say it was 282,000 cubic yards between combined with 
09 and 14 when they bought that stand. So they've just been kind of smearing it around all these years. Uh-huh. When they They're just the trying to save these houses when they get, you know. That's and, why, and, right? Is they yeah, keep adding yeah. the sand to protect the houses? That's the idea of the berm is it's an emergency berm and they get to build it without permitting because it's for to protect emergency. the homes. Yeah. But my my thought is, hey, if you really want to protect the homes, build an actual wall. They've had the same weird cinder block wall here for since I've been alive. Oh, and it's like it? two feet tall. Yeah. You go to like PB, they've got like a yard stick high one oh, foot yeah. thick wall that yeah. will actually stop, stop it. wave action. You know, then you would only get water rising, filling in through the easements instead of actually direct wave action into the so this berm wasn't here when you were Groms? No, they would always build no, the they berm. they have to build it, yeah, yeah, as soon as the winter season starts. Yeah. But the the wall is kind of a hopeless Yeah, the wall joke. is like a little, you can barely hit your fender or your car on it. That's how low yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like they fill it up with sand. It's just a nub. Yeah. Yeah, last year we had a refrigerator right there for about two weeks just posted up on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that guy made it. Who was it? <laughs> I don't know, he snuck through. Who's this digging? Is he gonna get it? Talk to us, Dave. Oh, that was sick. I think that's Juan. I can't tell, bro. My eyes are crap. Now I sound officially old. Yeah, don't worry. I wear readers at night. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yeah, this? The inside ones are really fun. Oh, Look at that. Oh, that was sick. Pumps through it. Is that a salad bar right there or what? No, nah, salad's a goofy. He got kind of nah, flexed on right. this morning. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Like hurt or like? No, nah, he that's took a donut on one. Oh. He was like, he tweaked his foot. All right. So I don't know if he's paddled back out yet. What's the wing going to do? I'm going to get out there soon. I don't gonna... know. Let's see. Let's take a look. See if it's going to be light all day. I didn't surf yesterday till like noon. It was death yesterday how was it this morning on the high tide was it just backwashy nonsense or what it was just kind of long period and just a lot of energy yeah that's one oh, who's this digging oh, oh no. caught in the lip that's what usually happens. i mean it's it's that's low kidding. mile an hour <laughs> oh yaden again oh yeah that's what usually happens yeah it's low mile an hour south southwest it'll oh. be kind of like this probably all day unless it just goes weird like yesterday when Ty gets a little low, it should start, like, you know, little chippings, a little bit of chippings. So, it might, you know, you never know. Yeah, it pulls it out a little yeah, further. Yeah, yeah, Too low tide here, it turns into a foam ball. Yeah. Mm. Dude, it must have just been, wa- did it just wash through yesterday? Like, right through yeah, like, all no, this? It, it At literally, 2 o'clock, it just washed through. Like, 1 or 2, it was, it was done. It though. happened pretty rapidly. Like, when the tide went out, it just turned into, like, a... There was a window about an hour. It was, like, it was pretty sick. But the sand's not right yet. The sand's... No. I mean, the sand's weird. This is the first swell of the season. Yeah. So, it's like, this is just raw on a beach. When it's good, you'll see these peaks will kind of bend up the beach a little more. You get, like, a little side, ciders into the peaks. Oof. There's still yeah, plenty no, of this, swell hanging around. All this stuff will just groom it. Yeah, for sure. Because it's flattened it out. I can tell when I look. Yeah. It's smoothed it's just it out. Eating the sand away, kind of. Yeah. That's what oh. you want. And then it'll kind of. It's get, at the pier. What? The beach will get all humpy, and then that usually defines all the wedges. Giving away secrets. So don't give away too many secrets. Yeah, it sucks here <laughs> all the time. Just good all turn sir. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I it's Actually, hard to get. Yeah, you're not too far oh, off. There's Blair Conklin <laughs> right yeah. there. Come out oh, of that thing. Oh. That was nuts. It, it's been like the he three years of right La Nina did, did us no favors yeah. in this town. I think the last really good season where it's consistently good shape was probably like 16, maybe? Six, 15, seven. Yeah, yeah that I think it was, like, range. It was, like, it yeah. was the last Del Nino. Yeah. I think it was 17, 18. I remember, like, clockwork every Thursday and Friday for, like, two months. It was pumping. Oh, scratching. I Little thought I sent Omar in. that shot of uh, Griff. Did you get that, Omar? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, oh that was sick. Oh, let's show Wellsy's barrels out here. We got some Wellsy oh, clips. Yeah, let's show that first, and then uh, I'll, okay. I'll pull up that image. Retro clips. Retro clips. Yeah. There's Wellsy. Yeah, this is, like... The, but these are like the small local days. Yeah, this is the yeah. fun days. This is where like, it's not blown out. Don't tell out. anybody, yeah. though. No, there's nobody around. This is like, <laughs> it's not like now, like every every person shows up out of the blue. Like, yeah, this is like a random Tuesday when the tag gets good. That was sick. Like, these are the days you just rock up out front and you're 
just getting into a couple. I should have dropped oh. some of my booty clips with you guys, bro. Man. I bet you got some nuts ones out here. That was there good. he is, Chad Wells. <laughs> that wasn't Living the last legend. time I surfed out here, though. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't 1995. The last. <laughs> yeah, right. Throwback. No, nah, no. Nah. I, I, but I got to pick and choose. I got too many aftermarket parts in this body. <laughs> I can't get folded in half. I know. How long you hip, right? Oh, well, yeah. I got a there. fake disc in my back. I got a fake hip. My, I just can't you, you gotta be a young blood out I here i got a little kids bit. i gotta freaking <laughs> look out here and keep surfing with Is yeah so this oh. was that last oh. el nino oh actually that was kind the of the shot his board's washing out right there what up, dude? but uh i mean i don't dude, know what the, i don't know bomb. what the kid with the gopro is looking at he's looking the wrong way but that's pretty you much his sick ones dude yeah we got you on a couple that's oh, as yeah. big that's as big as it goes right yeah there. otherwise it'll just mush through yeah He's got to go get his shoulder x-rayed, he said. He actually, bro, he actually oh, broke his crap. shoulder out here on a low side. I know, he day. looks hurt. I was with him when he broke his shoulder. That was like, that was shit, that was like 2018 or 17. Camera guy's got to go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's I not, uh, it's all not hard to get hurt Drop a deucey or what? I was going to say, it's probably a lot of injuries. There's a, I think, uh, yeah, bathroom's a little sketch, but. <laughs> How long have we been gone? Should we, should we start, it? should we start winding down? Yeah, 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 yeah I mean, sir. <laughs> Tons of people watching. They want to watch, but I'm tired, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you need fins, bugs, come alt surf. If you come down here, make sure you go to Alternative Surf. Support the local boys. Always. Thanks, Chad, for the invite. Dave? Uh, thank you, Dave, Pleasure for coming always. on. Appreciate it. Now, if you guys rock up to Seal, here's, here's your playlist. Find parking. Yeah. Make sure you look either way when you decide to go on a wave. Yeah. <laughs> Be respectful. Because they're a bodyboarder, don't burn them because there's like a no, pack it, of wild dogs that it, might not be down with that. And it's just basic common <laughs> courtesy whether you're on a sponge or yeah. a sled. Look both ways. Make sure it's your wave. Go. Have fun. When you're done. You can look at Alternative Surf's recent Instagram. Find yourself on Main Street at some of the finer <laughs> establishments. Nick's Deli. You can't, Nick's can't be Nick's, dude. You, you can't come to Seal without Fireman eating Fireman across Nick's. America, back that epic stash. Oh, yeah, baby. Flavor <laughs> saver. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then Does that free, frequent your shops. Is that road? Kurt? Harbor is Surfboards. It, uh, Harbor. <laughs> In flight. Caton, come to the local shop. Support local. The future is local people. Yeah, or go to Katrina's. Uh, it's a good spot by Al Alternative Surf, local guy. Calypso yeah. Juice. Calypso. Calypso's a local boy. John, shout out to John. He's a local booger. Great juice. He's out here this morning. Yeah. He is a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so he... Oh, thanks. Yeah. Come back. You're the man, Wellsy. Ha, ha that's ours. <laughs> is that Sorry, Wellsy. <laughs> we might have to donate some to the board riders. <laughs> The thirty bucks. Hey, no, no, yeah, we, hat, we, no, no, we, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't Any need hats it. left? Loaded. No, no, right. We'll make some more. <laughs> we'll make some more. <laughs> Throw some in the shop. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, we're all a community, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. the the, that the end oh, game is the green suit, blew it. Making sure we have waves to surf. That's yeah. the battle. Well, Northside is really taking a hit, dude. I noticed that. It seems like yeah, whatever's Northside's going on Northside, it's George. weird because Northside used to be on days like today, Northside would be pumping, dude. Oh no. Beach pier pilings are failing. Heavy. Is it's that OB? Uh, yeah, SDOB. Yeah. All right, I guys, think. I'm gonna go bug. Okay, thank yeah, you. Thank you, Dave. Dave. Right. Appreciate it. Goody. Yeah, He's out. Alternative surf. Yeah, Seal Beach, Main Street. Yeah, we got thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Name Joe. Joe. Cool. Yeah, yeah Dave. Right on. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Okay. We got the blessing from Dave, the Loke bodyboarder, owns local right, surf shop. Okay. Lennox Wells right here. Lennox Wells, give us the update. Is it pumping? Freshly seven years old right here. Wow, you're getting old. Nope, she's over oh, it. She's out. <laughs> I knew there was going to be a way to get rid of her. Oh, oh no. she wants to sit. She's like, that's not enough. <laughs> All right, here, babe. <laughs> what, Weldon's on the camera now? There you go. What's our plan, producer? Is it time to pull the ripcord? I think we. What have we been gone? Three hours or something? Yeah, yeah three hours. I think. I think. I think we've done it pretty well. Have we done it? I think so. You want to sign us off? No.
you seen daddy do this a bunch yeah he's always on these things talking professional level oh. red you need a five five <laughs> <laughs> this is a little different uh, it is it's great this is rad I finally got to announce my first uh, board riders event down at churches. Which really? I yeah, figured, never, you'd be, I no. figured you would have been on that before. I've never done one of those, so I, I kind of struggled because it's the way it reads on the on the board. But I got it. Oh, the different the scores. Nolan just wiped out. You want to see what gnarly wipeout? Oh yeah, let's yeah, see it. Let's see. He got a sick left, but now we're gonna see a gnarly wipeout. Okay. Oh. oh airdrop. Kind of far pin away. drop. Pin drop. What? What do you think? What do you think of the waves today? They're good. They're good? Okay. Yeah, one of our, our super ultimate local legends, Kurt Augsburger, just rocked up. Okay. And he lives literally right here, 100 got steps Kurt away. Kurt Augsburger. Shapes for Harbor, makes his own boards. He's an absolute hammer. <laughs> Do we get him on the couch? Or what I, I just tried to wave him in, and he he, he shined it. He fly, he, he's nah, too nah, low. Didn't want it. He's too old school. But, yeah. No, he's <laughs> like, when I was a Grom coming up, Kurt would be... Furthest out the back, sliding into bomb peaks out the back at cloud break and running north side. It was, it was <laughs> rad. It was rad growing up here when, when kind of it was a little, had its kind of cultural epicenter. Yeah. I used to take the bus here. I think I said it earlier and hang out with Taylor Evans and Ben Knight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sick. And like. And surf the left. I remember I surfed the left over there. Yeah, I mean, hey, Dane Reynolds rode his first wave here. No way. On the north side when he was a Bakersfield Grom. Whoa, okay. Um, Brett Simpson, mm -hmm. Willie Seyfried also, like, learned to surf here. So, it's, I mean, Seal gave some people their starts. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Marty Thomas. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of show. Hey, right, what are we doing? Are we wrapping it up? What are we doing? Yeah, I guess, let's, yeah. Let's, let's wrap it up. up. Thank you, everyone. Oh, oh my God, guys are still getting shot. Did we see Nolan's donut? Yeah, yeah we did. He just, far away. he just pin uh, dropped right. it. Yeah. Is this Nolan Pally? Okay, let's wait. Okay, one more set, and then let's wrap it up. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you big time, Chaz. Mm. Ah, Chad Wellesy. Well, Chaz, too. <laughs> and Chaz, Chaz, cast. Chaz and Wickwire, Brian Simmons. Now we can wrap it up. Doesn't look like... I don't know. It's all every time I look back, it looks like it's pumped. Okay, the music's starting. That means I need to go. Thank you, Seal Beach community. Thank you for watching the video. Yeah. <laughs> Epic sign off. Thank you, Couch yeah. Potatoes. Bye. Wellsy, Noah, Lonnie, our video guy, Omar, producer, director. He figured all this stuff out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Seal Beach.